Peacemaker dropped, and he was going crazy in the final qualifier for Champions of the Realm. Let me tell you, for the final qualifier, this was probably the craziest week yet. I mean, it's not even over yet. We still have the top eight going down this Friday over on Caboose's Twitch channel. But my God, the character diversity for pool play this week was mad. Do me the biggest favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's finally get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. We are so close. I want to say I truly do appreciate every single one of you. Also, let me see in the comments if you're enjoying Peacemaker. I personally, I'm loving the character. Let's get into this action. They sought the most powerful builders across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. everybody champions of the realms final qualifier is about to go down and this is an exciting one because we have a brand new character unleashed into the realms here peace maker caboose Woo! you excited about this one i'm ready i'm ready i'm just gonna send the invites out now so accept it and let's see if these players can get in here as wanna. fast as possible all right so don't then wanna. don't then first to find me with peacemaker right gonna. now i'm not gonna Sorry, sorry. All right, I just accepted the invite. But yeah, Destroyer, this is it. The final, well, I didn't accept the invite. I just clicked on it. I'm waiting for it to let me join. It's taking forever. Hold on. I might be like a second late because it's still not loading the option for me to join. But um, yeah, this is it. This is the final week, Destroyer, for Champions of the Realms. I can't believe it. We are here. It has been a very long journey to get here and finally the time has come this is it this is the last chance for these competitors to make it into our qualifier destroy to make it into our finale that's going down please tell me you were able 8. to get in here send me uh send me another invite because it's it didn't work another invite actually wait okay never mind it, it's joining now it's joining it just stopped me at the uh the online screen for a second it didn't do anything Really? But yeah, how you feeling, man? It's been a long journey for eight weeks, two months straight of competition. So many insane matches, so many insane top eights, and it's all coming down to this. Our final week, one last competitor can make it in. And man, we got another stacked top eight this week, Destroyer. And it looks like I'm playing against Sloth Ebony. Let's go. Yeah, Um. I mean... The only thing I'm really looking forward to for this week specifically is the uh, the new character, Peacemaker. I definitely want to see what he has to bring to the table. You know, I definitely got to dip my hands a little bit with the character. And let yeah, me tell he feels you, nice, Peacemaker man. is strong. You know, yeah. he's got a lot of a lot of tools at his disposal. I mean, he literally has um, Sub-Zero's ice armor built into him, which is wild. And just all around, the character feels really complete. I can't wait to see would all these competitors are able to come up with peacemaker uh you know moving further down the road here also uh i just want to say big shout outs to everybody who signed up for this week final qualifier we got a lot of entrants i hope all of you guys uh check in that way we have as minimal issues as possible and right now we are currently just waiting for bartwell here so we can get this first match underway yeah and i'm i'm beating i'm beating this guy actually Destroyer, I'm sorry. I'm oh, competing in the tournament. I'm in. For week eight, I'm in. All right. Hold on. Let me see if we can get in contact with this dude, Bartwell. He was active a second ago. All 
Oh man, this guy is actually playing. But no, yeah, I haven't even gotten to I haven't even gotten to test out um the crossplay or anything like that. Yeah, me neither. I haven't seen what that's like. But also, you know, if there's one thing that I will say, I, I've kind of seen the community echo the same thing. We're all a little disappointed um with the patch notes. I feel like that there wasn't a lot of adjusting. Kenshi got like a tiny, tiny nerf in that when you hit Sento, he now takes 20 damage, was it? Yeah. Um, so I guess, I mean, that's interesting. I want to see what that's like kind of when it's happening to see how uh -huh. much that actually affects the play. Um, but Johnny Cage, untouched, like still as powerful as ever, which I'm very surprised by. And also, you know, cameos like Kung Lao, Striker, still very, very yeah. strong options for any character on the roster. Yo, so Bart Will, I saw you follow the stream. Where the hell are you, man? We're trying to get this first match underway. It says an <laughs> error has occurred. Okay, let's occurred. try to send him another invite then. All right. Also, uh, I think a, a really big topic uh, is the just the patch notes in general, right? Um, yeah. I know a lot of people are a little disappointed about the patch notes, myself included. But uh, I, I don't know, man. I guess we have to wait and see if NetherRealm decides to uh, do something about these characters. Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people were complaining about Raiden. I think more than Kenshi, right? And yep. somehow Kenshi ends up getting nerfed in this patch, but not Raiden. It was uh, it was a little baffling, I'll tell you the truth. But I, like I said, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how this is gonna pan out. You know, a couple months down yeah, the line. Yeah, like no touch on Storm Cell or anything like that. I was very honestly very very confused as to why there was kind of a lack of adjustments um, in the latest patch. Really, like there weren't a lot of nerfs or buffs overall i know quan chi it's confirmed quan chi did get a new move added to yeah. him which is very interesting we haven't seen a lot of quan chi's enter champions of the realms so i'm wondering if a lot more people are going to start popping up with that character uh -huh. and if that new move makes that much of a difference for his play but um yeah who, who are we waiting on again destroyer what's going on here uh we're waiting for a player named bartwell he says he's getting an error when he tries to join so i don't really know and he's taking like five he's taking intervals of five minutes to respond to us on the court and i'm about to just give this guy a dq and move on unless these guys are able to play uh off stream i'm waiting on a response i see him typing in the court so i guess we're just gonna have to give it like a couple more minutes here and see if this guy is alive okay he said i'm joining oh <laughs> He said, he said, I'm joking for a second. I was like, this guy's been messing with us <laughs> this whole time. All right. Uh, we resent the invites and yep. we'll just give it like uh, five more minutes here. And if he can't join, then we will be moving on to the next match because that's right. We don't want to waste any more time here. Uh, yeah, there was I, a bit of an extended downtime for a second there, too. And I think he made dropped, it. And I so there's that, no that way you can go AFK. Nervous. We got to go through another one of your stupid matches, you yeah, stupid I know, idiot. That, this guy, Estimation yeah, point, need, uh, stupid idiot in the chat for Caboose, please. <laughs> I need Sloth to, to run this match and just down to me to hell so then he can get Bartwell up next. Um, But yeah, we had we had some extended downtime when Peacemaker dropped. And I know me and you were both a little nervous for a second there. Shades of what happened with Quan Chi. I was like, oh, oh no. Please don't tell me we're going to have, like, all the servers be messed up. But it uh, looks like everything's okay, as far as I can tell right now. It, let me know, guys, in the chat. How is the crossplay? Has anybody done any of the crossplay yet? How, how's it feeling? How's it looking? Does it run smooth? I was sad when they did the combat cast yesterday because they said that the crossplay was only for 1v1s. Yeah. But thankfully, Netherrealm has confirmed over on Twitter that King of the Hill crossplay is coming at a later date. So there is going to be full crossplay in Mortal Kombat 1. And I mean, so long as it runs well, so long as everything's smooth. Yeah. You're damn right we're going to be doing crossplay tournaments for Champions of the Realms. Oh, I can't wait, man. You know, exactly what you said. The main uh, focal point of everything is going to be whether it runs smooth or not. And as long as that checks out, Caboose, I think we should be we should be chilling. And I mean, bro, we might have to get somebody on board uh, in the back end of things if we're going to be doing crossplay tournaments because yes, yeah, it's going to get busy. I don't know how many people are going to end up signing up for these events. You know, yes. we got PC, Xbox, PlayStation. With PlayStation Five alone, we got about a hundred plus competitors signed up. So I don't yeah. even want to know what a crossplay tournament is going to look like. So we're definitely going to have Seriously. to bring some people on board. So if there's any volunteers out there. 
You let Yo, me know. Yo, for real, if there's anybody out there who'd want to help us, let's get this. We'll just we'll have those conversations when we get there in the future. Yeah, yeah. We know that crossplay is coming to King of the Hill, and then obviously when we see crossplay in action, and hopefully if it runs smoothly. Okay, the competitors are here. They're ready to go. We got Slot Ebony. We also got Bartwell here. Rocking the Lee May chameleon, Fortnite. and then Bartwell with the Tanya gonna put it on you. Yo, no, 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 no. Where's that peacemaker? Tony Serino? Bro, where's that peacemaker? I, I have a feeling we're we're probably gonna see some peacemakers today. Honestly, this is a character that right out of the gate, people are popping off with some insane he's, 50 to 60 bro, to even 70% combos. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, I mean, we, listen, we played a match earlier, and you just got a just a, a little snippet of what the character was able to do with Kano, and I mean, you told me I'm the best player you've ever fought against with the character. You told me I'm the best player you've ever fought against in the planet. Seriously. But yes, to anybody who's asking, uh, Peacemaker, we're tournament legal as far as we're concerned. Unless somebody finds an infinite with the character, I know what. We, we, that's how we roll. Listen, You've done that one, one, man. If, if an infinite pops up with Peacemaker, we're letting it rock. I'm telling you that. Oh, now. okay, okay. I don't even care. As anymore. a matter of fact, if somebody finds an infinite with the Peacemaker, we'll just cancel the finale and give you the prize money. Perfect. That sounds great. Bartwell, right now, though, really giving Sloth Ebony a run for his money. You got Heineken Man in the background. They said, Oh, yeah, man, I'm happy, but I quiero, yo quiero jamoncito con salami. Llamame Heineken. All right, so Destroyer has completely lost his mind, ladies and gentlemen. We just got him off the comms. He's being sent to an insane asylum as we speak. Right now, though, Bartwell up around in this game. Ebony trying to land that Melina ball roll. It is not going to be successful and lead to a huge punish. Oh, the Tony. You know, it's interesting. You don't often see... Somebody rocking the Tanya gonna put it on you with Tony Serino. And here Bartwell is doing exactly that. Usually you're seeing Goro be the cameo pick for this character, and the wake up is going to connect. Bartwell will close out game one. Very nice, man. Bartwell sticking with this Tanya gonna put it on you, but playing a team that is a little bit different that you usually see. He's rocking right. the uh, Serena rather than the Goro. That's right. I'm already seeing in the support top, some people are having connectivity issues with their matches, but it's against a player that I know his connection is usually good, so it might just boil down to something with the patch, you know? Listen, we don't know how stable this patch is. The extent of my uh, testing today for the servers was a king of the hill with a couple viewers on my stream. Everything ran fine. We ran it for about two hours with no issues, but as far as 1v1 private matches go, I don't know what's going on with that, so I hope I hope everything is, is, is gonna run smooth for you guys. And listen, if not, power through it. If not, I'm gonna get Brendan Frazier's The Whale to pull up and drop a 500 kg bomb on top of your neck. Or hit us up in the support tab before before you guys uh, play the entirety of the set. Because if you guys play it first to three and then come to the support tab asking for help after the set's already over, it's a tough call for us. Good pressure right now from Bartwell, putting in the crazy Batania pressure, goes with the down one. Getting a little frisky dingo here. By the way, big shout out to everybody dropping a sub. Listen, we gotta get the subs back up. We went from 2,100 subs to 280. And if we don't get back to 1,000, I'm, I'm quitting streaming for good. Man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was a threat, I take that back. I was kind of messed up, you right, I take that back. I'll take it back, Chad. Relax. What, the, the sub count did it drop to or me threatening everybody? I'm sorry. I'll take it back. Oh, it's both. It's both. All right. You know what? I'm going back to Peacemaker. And the back throw now from Ebony. Extending the combo with the Katana fan lift. Couldn't finish, though. That could have led to a huge punish. Okay, very nice. That's going to be a nasty confirm here from the Serena. The combo extension right now from Bartwell. He is up the round, but Slot Ebony is up the life bar in this second match here, the second round. People, 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 people. There it is. Slot Ebony, very nice. 
Look at me, juicy big boy. Crispy. Break of the combo attempt there. Full screen for a second. Getting clipped though, oh my goodness. Not holding on to that block button. The end of the string connects. Here we go again, Bartwell with the corner. Looking to try and shift the tides a little bit. Okay, here we go. The combo just ever so slightly. That might as well have just face throw damage at that point. Interesting stuff there. I did not know that Molina can also interrupt your throws. And this could lead to the end of the game. So long as Bartwell connect, indeed he will. That is game two going to Bartwell. Now up 2-0 in the set with an extended combo to finish. Beautiful stuff. Fortnite. Somebody in the chat says, bro, I keep hearing Bartwell. You know, I, so, I, sometimes I slip it up. Sometimes I slip it up. Sometimes I say you know, fart well. Sometimes I'm farting. Man, listen. Also, can you guys please pay attention if you are on stream or not? And can you please put your PSN into the uh, drop your PSN tab? I mean, at this point, I feel like I should remember their PSNs, right? Yeah, if you, if you see that you've been added, if you know that your match is on stream from what you can tell on Start GG, please go to the Drop Your PSNs tab in the Discord and drop your PSN. If your match is not on stream, we don't need your PSN, but you're just playing against your opponent. You guys can organize it together. All right, look at this. Bart, Bartwell already getting stuff started. <laughs> I see Tom Brady in the bracket destroyer. I don't think that's the real one. Don't don't be fooled. I don't think that's the real one. That's not the real one? Nah, it's because he, he usually does MK Tom Brady. That one was 2K Tom Brady. Oh, what's going on there? And then when I went ahead and checked the uh, his cord, it was linked to a completely different Discord. So, so that's falling sweat. Hey, listen, it might be. <laughs> you, you know what's messed up about it is it might be. Unfortunately, like when it comes to the online nature of things, unless we got a private investigator on the job, players can just slip right in here. Fallen Sweat can slip right in here with 700 different accounts and we won't even know. Now, Tweety has been experimenting with Peacemaker, so we can see Tweety later on tonight rocking Peacemaker to make it through the bracket. Somebody asked in the chat if Honeybee was in this, he is back once again. We got Red Nose as well. The bracket is stacked, man. The pool it, it's, it's full of sharks. It really is. Let's just hope these sharks show up tonight. And I see a lot of them already checking in. So this week is looking juicy. Fartwell, a.k.a. Fartwell, looking to close this out here and now with the Tanya. But Tanya going to put it on you. Tanya going to put it on you, but Tanya. But he did make the switch here to Reiko with the Tremor cameo. So far, unsuccessfully. And this actually could be the end of the set here, Destroyer. I think you're right. Going to connect. I think you're right. Well, it's not over yet. And there it is. That's the end of the game. Fartwell takes a set 3-0. Very good stuff from Fartwell. It's going to be a juicy way to take it. Three games to one. I mean, for your first match of the night, bro, you can't be mad at that, you know? No, not at all. I mean, that was good stuff there. Fartwell will be moving on. And uh, Ebony is sent over into the loser's bracket now. Again, this is week eight. It is do or die. For these competitors so far in our tournament the people who have made it in let me just see the list here real quick we got the mighty unjust marie pulse get wrecked king gambler bandinos my goodness that top eight is already shaping up to be one of the greatest for mk1 and we still got one more competitor to make it in there to add even more hype to <laughs> yeah Square. no yeah i mean this is it like you said caboose this is do or die somebody's going to be taking it tonight and i don't really know who it's going to be like you, you know the the amount of killers we have in these pools it's anyone's game and you know whenever spanky doodle sets up these brackets he definitely tries to you know split all like the the demon players evenly across all the pools that way it's not a free path for anybody you know we, we really yeah. take our time setting up these brackets and it, it's important the way we structure it as well that way you guys get some hype matches and also what i try to do that usually doesn't end up happening is i definitely try to get you guys you know not in the same pool like two three times yeah 
All right, next match is going to be a juicy one, Caboose. So check this out. This is the history about this one. Online Kale, I told him, yes, if he wants to get into the tournament, he has to play Peacemaker because he hit me up super late. <laughs> he told me he didn't have a combat pack. So you know what I went ahead and did? I hooked him up with the combat pack. Oh, for real? For real. Man. So Big, big shout outs to Destroy, everybody. Show some love in the chat. Getting online, Kale. Yeah, online Tony would be very happy about that. Online Tony, he owes me. I'm waiting to see a, a, a nice, a, a nice payment in, in the PayPal. Don't know, for those who don't know the storyline about online Kale, when online Kale was in one of our top eights, we had his father in the chat. And this dude was saying, I was competing back at MK9 at Evo. The chat vetted and confirmed that was true. And I think they confirmed that Tony made it into the first top eight for MK9. The first time MK9 was at Evo, he made top eight. And now his son is this young prodigy playing MK1. All right, perfect. You players love are here. You, you love to see the players here, man. That's what I'm talking about. This is it. Listen, if, he, if he actually pulls out the peacemaker, I'm going to... Oh, 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 no, he baited us. No. He baited us. No. I'm calling Tony. I want my We're shutting off his PlayStation. I want my combat pack back. We're shutting off. <laughs> I want my combat pack we're back, bro. We're shutting off his PlayStation. We're getting a refund. Bro, I want, <laughs> bro, I want my combat pack back. Kale, though, with the Baraka. Now, I remember Kale's Baraka. One of kind of the, the last. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait hold wait, on, hold it. on. Do it. Do it. He's going stop for it. doing this to us, Kale. He's going Kale, for it. Stop doing this to us. I, I, why do I, I have a feeling? Cyrax is in it. Nope. What's happening, man? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on here? I hate this guy. Kale, Kale what are you doing? What are you doing, Kale? You listen to me right now. You listen good. We're shutting off your PlayStation in T-minus 10 minutes. Somebody, somebody get a fat DQ in online, Kale, please. <laughs> Yo, Spanky Doodle DQ in. But um, I was going to mention, you know, this is one of the, the the few Barakas that we still see for Champions of the Realms Destroyer. And man, online kill is a beast with this character. And honestly, still shows how tough of a character this still is. And look at this. Now the pressure with the striker leads into the back three, connecting a huge 30% erase from your life bar into the back throw. That is going to push Kill towards the corner, though, which Tree Fitty is going to take advantage of. Oh my goodness, into the Jax cameo. I haven't seen that. He's rocking some very different cameos. What a setup there, too. Into the ground pound. So much happening on screen at once. A beautiful showcase at how tricky Mortal Kombat 1 is with the cameo system. Yeah, and you know what's wild too, bro? Like, a lot of these characters that people thought were probably going to get a little slap in the wrist, they ended up just being completely fine. And I respect that. I, I really do respect that. You know, I'm going to stand on my hill and, and, and die on it and say that I want this game to continue to receive buffs. I want other cameos to get stronger. 100%. I want other characters to get stronger rather than nerfing. You know, the whole Kenshi thing, maybe it was justified, but I, I got to see what the Kenshi players are looking like now with his nerfs. And as far as Raiden goes, they probably need to just do a little something to Storm Cell. And I think this game is in a really good spot. Yeah, maybe reduce the chip damage or something. I don't that know would be they, an, ideal, uh, an ideal, you know, reduce the chip damage. That way you, you don't really have to break your neck to flawless block it every single time. Destroyer, these setups with the Jax cameo are insane right now. Tree Fitty popping off with this Melina Jax combo. Online Kale gonna answer back though into the fatal blow. He's not gonna have the breaker in time. Wait a second. They update the um Yes! The minigame. Yeah, we actually we, listen, we're slowly getting a complete game. We're slowly <laughs> we are slowly getting I a thought, complete game. And I thought they could see that completely from the game. No, that's all bro, what? You've been living under a rock, Patrick Star. That's know, been in the game so since I know Day I know one. that you mentioned to me that it still existed, like hidden, but like yes. when it first came out because you didn't see it, it looks like they just removed it entirely. So it's weird that what, like uh, you're right, I guess bit by bit we're getting a game, <laughs> we're getting a full game. <laughs> Good, All right. Throw. Really good it's pressure right now. Oh, drop the combo. Very unfortunate. He's gonna get flawless block two into the punish. Beef Fitty with the corner now. Sets up with the Jack's ground pound. 
They're both actually gonna get caught by it. Or no, he just traded. Oh, and there nice. we go, the low poke. Kind of just backing off here. Goes with the forward three. I believe that's what that is. Uh, listen, I forgot a lot of these strings. There it is, the Baraka Barrage into the strike. Nice. Grenades goes straight for the throw off of the plus frames. Okay, beautiful stuff here now. Extending it for the extra damage. Gets the forward three and Kale oh will take God. that first game. Once again, yes, chat. Peacemaker is tournament legal. What we have done, the way we have operated, is so long as these DLC characters come out and nobody has found something that makes them completely broken, we allow them day one to be played in the tournament just because it's fun that way, man. I mean, Peacemaker also looking like a really strong addition to the roster. And not one of those characters, like, for instance, when Omni-Man first dropped, it took a second for people to realize the full potential of the character. I feel like a lot of people day one are starting to see how strong Peacemaker is. And we're only now in just a couple hours since the character released. I can only imagine what it's going to look like a week from now. 100%, man. Your demands best not be extortionate. Second. Beautiful stuff here to start off game two from online tail. He's got to keep that pressure on full effect here. I mean, get up the uh, scoreboard. Oh, who took that first one? That was uh, Kale. Why are you lying to me? Oh, my fault. There's the ground pound. Well, we've got to be careful with the ground pound too. There is friendly fire active. Jack still dashing in, looking for that ground pound, just haunting Baraka. Very nice. Okay, oh, gets the back three to connect. Could spell the end of the round, so long as he gets a good setup here for the meaty. Oh, not gonna work. Matter of fact, he could have closed that out. Kale had to hit the breaker. Watch out for the charge on the ball roll. Wallace block there from Tree Fitty. He avoids so much chip damage, but that low. That back three low, plaguing Tree Fitty right now. Kale taking complete advantage. Really good spacing oh, from both players. It looks like online Kale is just gonna dash back, waiting for a good punish, kind of how he usually plays. He's a very uh, reactionary player, and especially with a character like Baraka, you know, he has a lot of tools that allows to be a reactionary player. His Fatal Blow can catch things from a distance. He has yep. uh, the Baraka of Barrage that goes freaking far as hell and has meter, or I mean armor. It's just like he's standing 2-1. Everything this character has is plays in online kill strengths. Look at this pressure right now. Going with the standing fours, the onslaught right now, the low. My God, about 350 was looking a little lost there for a second. Oh, he went for the back forward three. And the striker came in to keep him a little safe. Gets caught by the throw now. Tree Fitty. Not a lot of life, but that fatal blow ready to go. Up. Oh, the air ball wow. roll from Tree Fitty. Beautiful stuff there. He's getting somebody to come back. What is happening? Jack's knocking him out the of the friendly ground. friendly fire. Oh, no. So unfortunate. Destroyer. I feel like that really interrupted Tree Smitty's game plan when he had the corner there. Again, that is the, the, the kind of blessing and the curse of utilizing the Jack's cameo. Is that ground pound can affect the player that you're paired with that cameo. The people pipo. Yeah. Tough stuff, but there we go. Kale is now going to go up 2 0. Wow, man. 2 0 just like that. About 350, but I have to change up the play style or something because my goodness. Going to have to put some more change in his pocket, Destroyer. You seen those um those UMK3 skins for Scorpion and uh, 
Hits up zero and smoke. And, and Reptile too, I think. Reptile looks amazing, man. All right, I'll see you later. You have I'm sorry, night. yo, the court is like, some of these I'll people just there. do not deserve to sign up for, well, not deserve, but they, they just shouldn't be signing up for online tournaments, bro. I'm just in disbelief right now. I'm so scared for the Central Crossplay tournament. Uh, bro, we might have to just not do crossplay at all. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with you, Chad. The Sub Zero skin looks a little weird, but uh, Reptile and Scorpion and, and both look so good for so UMK3 skin. Oh, that back three once again, Destroyer Online Kale. Ooh, there's the ball roll. Beautiful stuff. Okay, 350's gonna hit the fatal blow. Wants to cash out on the damage. Kale actually, did he just get that third bar meter? He could have break her. Definitely could have break her, actually. I'm looking back at the stream, and he had the three bars of meter. He just ate that fatal blow damage. Gets set up, and the overhead will connect. Tree Fitty takes the round. Wow. Kind of unfortunate. Again, Kale could hit the breaker on that. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Was his cameo on cooldown? Yeah, his cameo was on cooldown. So you're telling me his cameo was on cooldown? I think his cameo was on cooldown. So you're telling me his cameo was on cooldown? Well, I think, I think if, from what I can tell, his cameo was on cooldown. Yo, Slayer, if your match in Spark GG has the little, like, Twitch symbol next to it, then you know it's a stream match. Again, Destroyer Kale tying up the rounds now on match point. Oh, he's trying to go for four, too. He's way out of range for it, though, Destroyer. All right, hold on. He goes for the jump in. Oh, tries to go for the up block, but not going to happen. The back three connects into a throw. Crushing blow is locked and loaded. Imagine. What if I told you I got a crushing blow locked and loaded? Okay. Oh wow, taking advantage there. Kale with another throw. Very, very tough. Tons of pressure here. Tree Fitty trying to battle back. Sets up with Jax. Okay, wait a second. He's backing up. What? All right. Yeah, I'm just dealing with like a hundred things right now in the. Uh... Oh, and Kale is actually gonna just take that I'm set. Just... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get uh, some of these pools going because there's a lot of people that are uh, still in winner's round one and they've been playing their matches for like 30 minutes. Oh, they haven't DQ'd? No, because these people check in, but then I don't know what happens after beyond that. They don't report their scores. They don't report their scores or something. But there it is, online kill, taking it 3-0 over about 350. Insane. Yeah, beautiful stuff there, Destroyer from Online Kale. One of the best that we've seen for Champions of the Realms. Certainly has an opportunity to make it into our top eight, our last top eight before the finale. All right, tell these guys to get out of here before I DQ them from the tournament. <laughs> Tree Fitty just left. They're going to wait for Kale to get out of here in just a moment. All right, and then very we nice. Get our next match. What's our next match up, Destroyer? Uh, Deadly Rebel versus Senpai. Oh, man. Deadly Rebel back as well. Let me see what this guy's PSN is real quick. Senpai Assassin? Yep. Is it just that? Yo, Kale, we need you to leave the lobby. Did Senpai Assassin drop his PSN yet? Good question, let me check. Yo, Senpai Assassin! Well, listen. Don't see anything from him. All right.
right, so I'm just gonna invite that name. If he doesn't join, I'll yeah, just- Yeah, look for that. That's what I did last time. Just look for that exact name. All right, we'll give him like five minutes to join. If he doesn't, we'll just DQ him. Is did that... you find somebody under that name? I'm checking right now. Okay, I'm typing it too. All right, Senpai Assassin 7. If you're watching the stream, see you see it? Well, right. I see somebody with that exact name. I'm gonna invite All right, him. I invited, I invited the two. Hopefully these guys uh, join up so we can get this popping. Let's see. And yeah, I mean, again, big shout outs to everybody participating in the tournament. Uh, we, we just, for the next season, we're just gonna need a, a lot of the, like the new players that are kind of involved in these online tournaments to, to make sure you guys read the rules because I mean, uh, it's really that simple it's yeah. seriously it's with the rules are really laid out as as concisely and as simply as possible if you have trouble inviting anybody just hit hit up the you know fix your settings tab in the discord because there's probably an issue with your settings that's making it so that you can't invite people that aren't added to your friends list we have a lot of things to make this as streamlined and as smooth of an experience for new players as possible all you got to do is just check those rules all you got to do is just follow the instructions that are laid out for you very clearly on Star GG. I, I mentioned the Destroyer back during season one. I don't compete at all, all right? I do a lot of commentating. I don't do a lot of competing. I competed in one tournament for Mortal Kombat 1, and it was the first time I used Star GG as a competitor. It's not hard. You check in, you report your scores after the match is over. Whether you won or lost, you have to both report them, and then you move on. Really? It's really simple. All right. Well, okay. We uh, got Deadly Rebel in here. We're just waiting for Senpai Assassin, and then we can try and get this started. Although Senpai Assassin is not responding in Discord, so we're really not a hundred percent sure. I mean, the dude is somewhere. I, I'm gonna yeah. tell you that the dude he is exists. somewhere because he checked he in. The dude checked in, but uh, like I said, we're just gonna give it five minutes. After that, we're gonna DQ and we're gonna move on to the next match, which is gonna be. Peepo versus Pipo. Oh, man. No, the next match is going to be uh, MF Slayer versus Gustavo Gore. S Slayer in the tournament, Destroyer. Oh, wait a Slayer minute. Who runs some uh, tournaments himself. Big uh, shout outs. Hold on, hold on. Pool number four. We have a match that's been going on for 37 minutes. Oh, man. Usually, usually Destroyer, they're, they're having a tough go at it, man. Uh, what can I say? Uh, yo, Deadly Rebel, tell him to join. Hold on. I got to find out what's going on here with uh, Ricky Yo and the other guy. Honestly, what I might start doing for matches to just go on for this long and nobody says anything, we might just have to DQ both the opponents. So that's out of control. Who are you calling out of control? You. Hey, settle down, man. Settle down. All right, so we got word Deadly Rebel is talking to him on start.gg. Oh, he's not getting the invites? He's not getting the invites. Senpai Assassin's not getting the invites? Senpai Assassin's not getting the invites. How do you know? He hasn't, I don't see where he said anything. Uh... Deadly Rebels talking to him on the um, on the cord. All right, let's see if he could uh, let's see if he could fix it and we can get this pop in. Uh, looks like uh, Ricky Yo won his match 3-0 and didn't decide to report it or anything for 37 minutes. So shout out to that guy. And uh, yeah. We're gonna give Deadly Rebel a couple minutes here to figure this out with him. Or should we just move on to the next match? Um, I say we just let them play because by the time he goes to fix his settings and the, this guy has to communicate with Deadly Rebel over Star GG and then Deadly Rebel has to go in the Discord when all we need is for this guy to just reply in the Discord. Like, <laughs> all right, I'm we'll gonna play tell, the game of telephone with I'm these gonna guys. tell Deadly Rebel to just play him off stream and we'll move on to the next match. Move on to the next one. 
All right, and then now I'm really excited about this one because you were talking about this last week, Caboose. We got Slayer versus Gustavo Gore. Versus Gustavo Fring. Yes. Uh, Slayer's another one that doesn't like to be in the court. What Do we know what's his PSN? Is it just M MF Slayer underscore? Slayer, what's your PSN? He's been he's been in the chat. Oh, he's been in the chat? Pretty actively. All right. And then we do have Gustavo Gore here. Oh, yeah, I think it's MF Slayer underscore. Okay, perfect. Send him an invite. Yo, Deadly Rebel, we need you to leave the King of the Hill. I need you to play, just play your match off stream. Imagine he says no. Mol. Mol. Gustavo underscore Gore is not popping up for me. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's that. Now, yeah, we got to speed things up. So we'll definitely have those guys play off stream. And that'll be that on that. Uh, Deadly, if you could just please keep us updated on what goes on with that. Yeah. I'd be greatly appreciated. All right, I sent Slayer an invite. Slayer, I sent you an invite. I don't know if you got it. Okay. I'll send you another one. You sent the invites? Uh, I just sent one to Slayer. I didn't. I don't know what uh, Gustavo brings. Gustavo's here. Is. Gustavo's here. Is is ready to rock and roll. I think we both sent an invite to Slayer. Hopefully, we get to see some Peacemaker. Jesus Christ! Yes. Let's get some Peacemaker before I end this I whole need stream. Some peacemaker action. Uh, yo, Kaboom, we should have signed up for this week, bro. Seriously. Gustavo rocking the new, uh, the new, uh, Molina season skit. Those are, they're, they're weird, man. <laughs> oh my God. What? Is that Tanya? Oh my God. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty gnarly, dude. Dude, that's gnarly. Dude, that's gnarly. Slayer she reminds me of the, um, she reminds me of the cavemen from, uh, remember Conker's Bad Fur Day? The, 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 the cavemen that no surfed, they were, they were surfboarding. No no. You know what stage we're on? Look at him, look at him. Oh, you guys, you guys are already fighting so late at night. Oh, guys, check, so you get out of here, you stupid. Yeah, I just can't watch this. I can't watch this. God, I can't. What are you doing down here? You gonna put it on you? All right. They're getting it on. They're getting it on. It's done. It's a big Joe's way. A Tanya, a Tanya yeah. now to start with the alien cameo. It feels like we're seeing Tanya's rocking anybody but Goro these days. Tanya's gonna put it on you? Tanya gonna put it on you, and Slayer, by the way, rocking the Shang Tsung. I mentioned this the other day for Champions of the Realm. We don't see this character a whole lot in competition at all, so it's really refreshing. No, it's funny because the one time you mentioned that, um, I think Marie tried to actually pull yeah, him like out. The next and things match, did not yeah. go too well. No, not at all. And I think the same can be said about Slayer right now. This first round not looking too shabby Ooh, for the old man Shang. That, though. Here comes the punish. Into the ball roll, what a reset okay, there. Okay. Into the fatal blow, that's gonna be the round of sure. Play the mini game. Play the mini game. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's farting all over the place. Let me get the voiceover for the crazy guy in the background. Let me get the voiceover for the crazy guy in the background real quick. Can we can we get the audio? He's the guy in the background? Oh, more in the background. All right, we're going to cut to the guy in the background right now. Please, how are you doing, you stupid idiots? You're fighting. Oh, you're really good lost setup range there. on him. Yeah, we lost uh, transmission to him. Oh, nice back throw there, Destroyer. I like Gustavo that. Gustavo Fring. I like that. With the corner break dancing. Do you think if I put that Gustavo Fring meme on stream, I, you think I'd, I, I won't get banned? No, I think you'd be all right. By the way, Honeybee, eight minutes into the check-in timer. Make sure Honeybee checks in if he's streaming. Make sure you guys go to Honeybee and tell him to check in. 
Oh, he's not streaming and he's not competing today. He's not streaming? Oh, he's live. Oh, wow. Can you DM him? If you want, I mean, if he's not checking in, then this is what I want. I don't really want to harass him for this. You want to harass him? Go harass him. I'm gonna. Go harass the guy. He's got a baby right now. Go harass the guy. Yo, good pressure here. Actually gonna pick up something juicy. The love in the chat has been insane. I wanna say thank you so much. We got 15 subs tonight. Thank you everybody that's dropped a sub, for real. You guys don't know how much that means to me. It puts a nice sweetie meal on my table every day. <laughs> this has been one of the longest matches we've seen in a fat minute. Good throw. Yo, these Mohawks are, are the real deal. This is Tanya with the Mohawk. This is Conker's Bat for a day, Caveman Tanya. <laughs> this is uh, Tanya gonna put it on ya. This is Tanya gonna go to the punk rock show. She's gonna, she's gonna vibe Ooh. out to kiss. And then after she vibes out to kiss, she's gonna go to a dark alleyway and she's gonna start, you know. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're joking it, around here, Destroyer, but we're witnessing live right now. Slayer's Shang Tsung is up 2-0 in this set. Or is that one? Was that the first game? No. That was actually 3-0 right there. That's it. The set's over. Yeah, that was actually 3-0. Wow. Thanks for watching. That is the tournament, guys. We're going to call it there. Um, I've been Caboose. This is Destroyer. You guys stay safe out there. All right. Peace out. Peace out, everybody. Dwayne! Score. Sorry. Destroyer is completely lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, you want to know what's super hype, Caboose? What's up? Red Nose, um, well-known Kenshi player, actually made it into uh, winner semifinals that will be on stream. So we are going to be getting some Nerf Kenshi gameplay. Oh, let's see what that's going to be. Let's see, let's see. Combo there, Destroyer from Slayer to start off this third, second game, 14 maybe. Wow, what a combo, my goodness. With the Molina cameo in there too. Insane. And now the zoning. Sunio would be proud. Oh, that actually went right through the double hitting low. The Tanya gonna put it on you with the Batanya likes to throw out. Really good jump dash right now from Slayer. He is holding this neutral on lockdown with this zoning here. I mean, sometimes it's scary to to zone out a character like Tanya. Gonna put it on you with the Batanya because, you know, she has that drill kick that just comes out of nowhere. And a character like Shang Tsung, a lot of high fireballs. That drill kick is gonna punish you for a full combo. And now the Scorpion cameo with oh. that destroyer. Wait, bro, what is this Gustavo Gore? Is my man's like uh? Anything but Goro enthusiasts? <laughs> Tanya players tonight are just allergic to Goro candy, man. Yeah, what were the odds if we got two Tanya players on the live stream without Goro for the backup? Not very high, but here we are. Okay, player losing that round is tied up now. When's the last time you had a stupid idiot sandwich? Exclamation point, stupid idiot. For Caboose, uh, everybody. I went to the market the other day. I was trying to get some ingredients to make my own stupid idiot sandwich at home. But then I realized that I don't got no destroyer here. <laughs> I see what you did there. Funny. You're a funny guy. You're a funny guy, you know that? <laughs> oh, Honeybee wow. has let me know destroyer. Unfortunately, he cannot make it tonight. That's okay. That's okay. Sad that that is his last chance for the top eight. He is not going to hey, be able listen, to make it. I don't know about you, but I plan on, on unleashing season three pretty soon. Oh, we're starting it right now, actually. Like, I want to start season three right after this. Oh, my God. Play, uh, full play is done. All right, wait a second. Okay. Gustavo Gore going to catch a nasty fatal blow here. Could potentially put himself in a comeback territory. Look at these players hitting the, the mini game. I love that we get to see that now, man. Finally, it, yeah. It makes me feel like we're actually getting MK. <laughs> the character, the game is reborn. Okay, here we go. Slayer now officially up 2-0 in the set. And it, is he disrespecting? He's disrespecting. Is he live streaming? Everybody go to his live stream right now and call him a stupid idiot. Is he Slayer disrespecting? Live? Nah, that's crazy. Zoning it out. 
My goodness. Let me tell you, man. Slayer said if he loses this, that he's going to pierce both his nipples together. It's going to be a very oh, violent they're scene. Gonna be stuck together. He's going to pierce them together, and it's going to be very violent. My goodness. All right. Getting right back into this. Is it a uh, Slayer taking moment. his time? What is this guy doing? I don't know, man. He says, is it two out of three? Bro, it's standard no, no, no. three first out of five. Three. First when, three. when did this game ever do a, a first to two tournament? That's it. You know what? Why don't we DQ, DQ him? him. DQ him. It's Yo, DQ Slayer and tell him to never come back. Yeah, he's like, man, my first time in the tournament is how they treat me savage. <laughs> <laughs> tell him to DQ and go play Hell Dive. He's a stupid idiot. Exclamation point, stupid idiot. I'm sick and tired of everybody. Stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, you go. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Caboose. What if I went up to you in your face and called you a stupid idiot? What if I went up to you and farted on the floor? On the floor? What if I went up to you, opened your fridge, took all your peanut butter jelly uncrustables, and took them with me to my apartment? First of all, putting your peanut butter jelly uncrustables in the fridge? What are you doing? Match point for MF Slayer. Incredible stuff. Uncrustables. I've never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's incredible, but it's actually uncrustable. <laughs> oh no, the, the Jade cameo connects. Oh, he's not able to extend. With the I, Katana. I think we might have to Slayer, ban um, Gustavo Gore for playing without Tanya Goro. We're gonna make a new rule, chat. Uh -oh. If you don't definitely play Tanya Goro, you're getting banned. Gustavo definitely needs some momentum. He needs it now. Just a few combo. Hey, Gustavo Fring. Gustavo <laughs> Fring. He's gotta stop Bro. dealing with Walter White Bro. and get his head in the game. You know what? Uh, Taro Tempters wow. never saw those memes before, and she saw the <laughs> DM you that. She was like, what the hell is that? And I had to, I had to take her on a. On a on a little meme trip. On a little journey. Yeah, I, I found a YouTube compilation with a bunch of the Gustavo chess memes, bro. Not <laughs> a control. Boy, look at this. A massive. What is it? 45, 46% Fatal Blow combo from Slayer with the Shang Tsung. It's a massive. This set out. It's a massive That's 40 goblins right there. Seriously. All right, Spanky Doodle, have you been running the replays or what's going on, Spanky? You forgot to be running the replays? I think Spanky Doodle's been forgetting to run the replays. Incredible stuff, though. It's been champions of 3 0 so far, and Slayer with a huge 3 0 there with Shang Tsung. Again, a character that we do not see a lot of here for Champions of the Realms, which I love to see. And Slayer as well, somebody that does run tournaments himself, competing now in Champions of the Realms for Week 8. Maybe maybe watch out for him. Maybe watch out for that Shang Tsung, the zoning, the chameleon cameo. Very, very strong. And you know what as well? I mean, if anybody was watching that combat cast yesterday, man, that Janet Cage cameo is looking interesting. The Nether Realm said, you get a Sento. You get a Sento. Everybody gets a Sento. Muted? Did we lose you? Oh, am I muted? Hello? How long have I been hey. muted for, man? Never been 15 minutes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Whoa. What I was saying is, uh, I want to make a public apology to Janet Cage. You know, I said she does look like Sid the Sloth. I said she built like an earthworm. I said she, she, her character design was un unimaginable but i'm gonna tell you right now they did a really good job on her gameplay design the cameo looks like it's gonna be bringing a lot to the table 
and that's what i want to see i don't know about you guys but i made a tweet about it earlier and i feel like right now the better cameos kind of stick out like a sore thumb even just seeing janet cage in that that little snippet at the combat yeah. cast bro she's coming with a lot she's got a ninja mime that can block you off in the corner or anywhere on the screen she's got a pseudo sento that she can pull out and start sento sandwiching you out of nowhere we saw in the high level peacemaker versus omni-man match with the developers in the corner she gets hard to blockables yeah and you know what i'm saying like i want to see cameos instill that type of fear across the board you know i feel like sector needs a but little now more sauce I feel like Cyrax needs a little more sauce, and I want to see some of these cameos get bumped up a bit. So, you know. But now, I'll, what I'm wondering, Destroyer, is. All right, then forget about so, you. So, Kenshi gets nerfed, but does this cameo, is this going to be like an inadvertent buff to the guy? He's going to have two Centos. Oh, two Centos might be something to really think about. It's going to come to the point where, like, you don't even got to worry about finding setups to recharge your Cento. If it runs out, just make sure your Janet Cage cameo is ready to go in your Cento stance. I'm I'm interested, honestly. I, I and I agree with you. There are a lot of cameos on the roster right now that I think need to be bumped up to be on the level or at least as strong or nearly as strong as some of the strongest in the game. I mean, all we're seeing these days is Kung Lao, Striker, maybe a Cyrax here and there. But no, yeah, and don't get me wrong. Whole, and then Chameleon. Wait, Chameleon and, and, is really dominated and, and, lately, And don't too. get it twisted. Like, th there are certain characters that synergize really well with certain cameos. But right, like Reiko and Tremor. Exactly. And or, or Raiden and Kano. Scorpion. But yeah. I, I just want that, that like, um, I wanted to just be brought in out a little more, man. I want to see every character kind of be good at, to, to some Agreed. degree with the cameos. Agreed. And just all of them have some type of craziness. But, I mean, yeah. hey, we're going to have to wait and see Caboose. You know, for the most part, uh, I'm happy with, with this with this update. You know, Peacemaker is a really fun character. They actually released a patch that didn't break the game for the entire day, which is uh, a step in the right direction. And they're listening to us. You know, they did mention that we're going to be getting uh, Crossplay King of the Hills eventually. So yeah. that's that's all stuff to really look forward to. At the end of the day, like we we all want like the like we we want some more communication, and I feel like as of late. They've been responding more. When people ask questions, some things get answered, which has been nice. I do wish that they would have right out of the gate just said, hey, we have we have crossplay coming to the game in 1v1 modes. We are planning to do King of the Hill later on because it made me really sad when I watched the combat cast. It sounded like it was not going to be crossplay for King of the Hill. But I was glad that they could film that online. At the oh, is this it? Here we go, though, Destroyer. Our is competitors this it? are in. They're ready to are go. Are we getting Tweety it? Is are we getting it? Finally. Speaker. Are we getting the man himself finally? There it is. You're right. Tweety, Tweety just do it. Oh Tweety my Rocket God. Peace With the Maker. Kano. And the Kano cameo. Yes. So that from what I've been seeing online so far in the limited amount of time that people have had with the character, Kano is one of the best cameos to pair with him in terms of the insane amount of damage you can output. And as well, you know, as always, Kano just does a lot to give you the opportunity to make those unsafe things extra safe. Here we go now, Destroyer. Peacemaker already starting things off here. Eagerly coming in. Look at this pressure already. My Kano. God. Quite a bit of zoning playing that full screen game, but now he pushes in. Again, Kano keeping him safe when he goes for the torpedo. 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 <laughs> Sonic boom. <laughs> Anti gravity. I, Sonic boom. Yeah, I love it, bro. It's such a good design. Good jumping from Joystick. Bro, I mean, I fought against a Peacemaker. I played with the character myself, and not even 30 minutes into the character, bro, I felt like he's doing Ooh. some stupid stuff. His torpedo does a ridiculous amount of damage. His anti-gravity does more than a throw sometimes. And it's like, what is going on with the oh. damage scaling on some of these moves? He's gonna hurt Destroyer. Why he hit so hard? Setup into Eagly, 30% there. I guess he wanted another to... low Eagly to connect. I guess he just wants to keep that distance. Torpedo. 30% all over the place. That was about 60 HP gone in the blink of an eye. Peacemaker in the building. Yeah, you just got to watch out for that 2-2 two -two grab. It is a true grab that you can neutral duck. I mean, we were playing online a second before we started the tournament. You were neutral ducking a ton of those grabs. Look at this beautiful combo from Joystick. He's going to get caught by the wake of Torpedo. Wait, there's the punish. Does Torpedo have multiple hits of armor? Oh, good question. 
All right, beautiful stuff, though. I'm Joystick down. not phased at all. Gonna be surviving in that round. Taking a, a round on the board here. Line that torpedo looks like it friggin' hurts, man. It's got so Again, the anti gravity. Oh, no, up block. block. Yes, you can up block the anti gravity drop, but sometimes they, they won't even go for the, uh, the body slam. That's right, they'll just either go for the cancel or go for the uh, the, the side switch, man. Like, uh, Peacemaker has so many tools at his disposal, it's not even funny. I'm surprised Tweety hasn't activated the projectile absorbent yet. That's true, especially for playing against a character like Liu Kang. He's probably still getting used to it, you know? Absorb hits, that's true. Character that, this is, this is kind of the inherent risk of playing a new character like this online in a tournament setting. He's got to unblock that! Yeah. Oh my god, Tweety Kai is getting away with murder right now! Is he gonna give him another torpedo? Oh, the dragon connects! No way, that's Pushed actually GG's. That's actually destroyer. GG's! I think that is the game, unfortunately. Yeah. Dude, through putting in a ton of work with this uh, Peacemaker, but it doesn't work out. He's gonna lose that first game. I, I say he sticks with it. That might be a biased opinion, but I would love to see some more Peacemaker on screen. And I'm liking what Tweety's already bringing to the table here so far, but I also wouldn't blame him. I mean, it is a tournament, it's the last week of Champions of the Realms. He wants to switch off to one of his mains. Totally get it. All right. See what happens going into game number two. I mean, Tweety was looking incredibly strong. Literally just one mistake costed him that entire match there. Wow. Is he going to be sticking with this Peacemaker? It was looking strong. I mean, you can kind of tell that it's extremely fresh for Tweety because he was doing a lot of questionable uh, decisions. And let's see if Tweety can just clean it up and play a, a, a little more solid with the Peacemaker here. Let's see, indeed. He's gonna go. Shit, Here we go into the grab. Joystick. Yeah, Joystick is playing out of his mind. That is such good tech. Armored wake up torpedo with the Kano Ball as backup. My goodness. Yeah, Joystick popping off here with this new Kang. Try to go for the anti gravity body slam. Try to go for the anti gravity the back throw. The shield of peace. Oh, he actually caught him with a grab. grab. This is going to be a fat conversion here. Oh, you get two Sonic Booms? I wonder if he was able to get more, more damage from that combo. You can, you can pop them up again if you need to burn the second Sonic Boom. But yeah, I know a lot of people as well in the corner like to use the dart to extend their corner combo. Like, man, you see, I love the way you're talking about it. There's so many options for combos for Peacemaker. Did you just see that? He did eagerly to try to jump over the low fireball. That would have been so clutch if it worked out for him. Oh, he tried to switch sides and catch the grab, but he got neutral blow. duck. No fatal blow? Yeah, I guess not yet. Really nice stuff with the forward 4-1-2 combo. Gonna close out that round. Tweety looking really strong with the Peacemaker right now. He said, move. Okay, good projectile trade. Even though that was Crazy just one two. bullet that hit him, that did so much damage. It's crazy too, because if you get caught full screen trading with Peacemaker projectile and he gets you with the hit stun, that's just a full screen punish for like an easy 20%. When he drops the combo though. We try to get the jump and he gets stuffed in the air. Joystick with the corner. Nicely done, the wake up torpedo. Tweety with the throw once again, the shield of peace. I like that. Oh, the eagerly working so well here. Oh, and that should chip out. Beautiful game. stuff. Is there a brutal with his torpedo it. caboose? Do you really want to? Do you really want to taste that? Do we know if he has a brutal with his torpedo? He should. If he doesn't. If he doesn't, you're gonna be what? You're gonna be. Pissed? I know he's got a, a brutal with the sonic boom. That is one of the best brutals in the game.
No, he doesn't. Oh, my fault. Yeah, no, I hope he does it. You see, that's why I wish I was playing right now, bro. I, I'd really be showing some sort. <laughs> the chat is saying that there is a brutality with the torpedo. Nice. Other dudes from my universe have been here. The worst was the Joker. All right, Sweetie looking really strong right now. Oh man, that that torpedo Kano ball, little pressure there. That's pretty juicy, man. And it's doing a lot of chip out. I don't know if you're paying attention, Caboose. I'm not sorry. I don't want to watch anymore. I don't know. Eagerly connects. That is the one thing that's definitely tough is is you got to make sure you time after you land your eagerly. Getting that second hit in to extend the combo. Oh, here comes a punish destroyer. This is gonna it's hurt. Bro. This is gonna hurt. hurt. Now you can go standing free into the sonic boom is for you. No? You can. You can do a sonic boom into another torpedo. Why are you asking questions when I did it to you? Well, I'm just saying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why are you getting angry? Man? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the hell, man? Hey. Look at abusing that mid. I wonder if there's a gap in that string. There's not a gap in that string. Peacemaker's broken. You know what's weird about Peacemaker 2, Caboose? He doesn't have really any 50-50s, right? He's just got a low with Eagly and then the command throw. I think that's the thing is that with Peacemaker, while he might not have a ton of 50-50 options, he is, he dishes out insane damage numbers and yeah like that eagerly sometimes it can catch you off guard beautiful stuff tweety now up 2-1 i believe in this set with the peacemaker i don't know why they call this character peacemaker when he's always bringing the complete opposite of peace that's the irony oh <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yo, we got a match in Losers Pool 1. Ultra Oni versus Baron Sun. What the hell are you guys doing that you got to play a match for almost 40 minutes? It's a first to three, not a first to ten. Sometimes it lasts that long. Really? No. Let's see what's happening with these guys. Yo, if their match extends for more than 50 minutes, bro, I'm literally DQing both of them, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking any, any excuse. Oh, the easily is out. Combo. When does it end? Into the throw. Oh, there's the up block now, Destroyer. Okay, Joystick starting to get the hang of things here. 45% off that up block. He's going for that 4-4. Four, four. Forward four again into the torpedo, keeping himself safe. Good pressure now from Tweety. He's out of a cameo, though. I mean, not really going to matter right now. Tweety has a life lead. He's just dishing out that Peacemaker justice here. Goes with the command throw, and that's... Oh, no, wait. Oh, he's about a sonic boom. Luckily, he was able to break her that. You want that sonic boom brutality destroyer? Oh, there's a torpedo. He should have so went for Tweety it. Tweety is going to take the set with Peacemaker, the first one we've seen of the night, and it was very strong. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Tweety popping off here with Peacemaker. Like we mentioned, this character is tournament legal day one. So long as nobody finds anything busted with him. And so far, the only thing that's been busted is this guy dishes out pretty high damage. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Stuff. Really good stuff.
Honestly, I'm such a cool character. character. Listen, uh, it, it, it's hurting me a lot to be commentating right now because I'd rather be playing Peacemaker. I want to jump in and play, seriously. Yeah, I know. I love what I'm seeing so far. People are already popping off with the character. Really, really good stuff from what we're witnessing, Destroyer. Are you are you going to go right into streaming Peacemaker after this or no? No, probably not, man. After the stress I had to do with these pools today. You're going to just lap it out? I'm probably going to go play uh, Helldivers for 72 hours straight. 72 hours straight. I'm going to do a Helldivers 72 Dang. hours straight stream. What do you think? But yo, Destroyer, you think we're going to see a lot more Peacemakers tonight after we just saw Tweety pop off with the character? Oh. So Tweety, Tweety Destroyer, he's going to move on to the semifinal. He'll then face off against Deadly Samurai. Sir Coco Butter is facing off against Red Nose. Is that our next match, actually? That match will determine who makes it into the winner's final. And again, this is week eight. This is our final week guys this is the last opportunity for people to make it in we also want to mention exclamation point match arena if you'd like to add to this prize pool if you want to see some more hype if you want to see these competitors bring more intensity to our top eight finale just hit exclamation point match arena in the chat right now our tournament i believe is at three thousand dollars in our prize pool which is amazing already we just recently got a ten dollar donation from uh El elzer v bot or Elzerv bot, who said, thank you for the countless entertainment you provide, Destroyer and Caboose. 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 Thank you very much, Caboose. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, for the $10 dono. Hawk OD with 160. Skeptum has donated a total of $1,855 to the prize pool. Double Knives has donated a total of 475 and Hawk with 380. You guys have been incredible. If you have the means to do so, if you'd like to add more to that prize pool, exclamation point match Reno. All right. Um, also, we need an update on Forever King. Forever King in Pool 4, a match that's literally been going on for one hour. They have the scores tied 2-2. Two to two. Uh, Is there an update with that? Forever King versus... Uh, Forever King versus Spooter. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, okay, hold on. My opponent left the match after I won the first match. Is that 2-0? Well? Yes. I'm going to say yes if he left during the set. Okay, perfect. All right, we, it looks like we're getting everything kind of caught up here. Um, the next match on stream... You want to know what the next match on stream is going to be? Tell me. You sure you want to know? Tell me. Uh, we have Sunio versus No Green. Elsa, you, you did. You did. I just mispronounced my own name. Thank you. Thank you for the $10 dono. You heard? Sunio versus who? No Green. Why, aren't, why is there no green? What do you mean? Why not? Well, listen, no green. Um, the dude plays a really good Shao Kahn. I don't know who what? he's going to be playing in this tournament, though, to tell you the truth. But we about to have to wait and see. Let me go ahead and see if we can get no greens PSN. Who's no green in the in the court again? Good question. Uh, let me check. Isn't he like uh, Bart? Yeah. What's your PSN? Because this dude's PSN Bart's is is out of control. Um. All right. Yeah, uh, I appreciate oh, it's in his, it's in his Discord. It's no green twenty twenty three. I'll invite him. And also, uh, Slayer, if you're in the chat, if somebody can let me know what's going on with um, Slayer versus Online Kale. Just... Uh, who won? All right. Uh, all right. I've reset their match. So tell them, uh, if if we can get those guys to play their match, that'll be perfect. All right, just send them both out. Uh, just send oh, both no, no green. Oh, you right got now. the invite out? I got him. I got him invited. Perfect. All right, that oh, no green with the Peacemaker oh, combat oh, card. Is he playing Peacemaker oh, as well? Oh, we getting back to back Peace, Peacemaker. Bro, for the Peacemaker stream? taking over. Peacemaker taking over, bro. I don't know. And look, 
I mean, the character yeah. is is worthy. I feel to be in the in the upper echelon of the tiers. I mean, Peacemaker within the first 30 minutes in the lab with that character he was cooking up some sauce you know yep. caboose when you go in the lab with a certain character that you just feel like something's off like quan <coughs> <Quan> chi yes quan <coughs> chi <coughs> you know what i'm saying I, this, well, i'll be honest with this you. wasn't if the I case be honest with you i felt that a little bit even with omni man when he first dropped i was like because i remember at first i was like you know what i'm figuring out what to do to get combos but i'm not figuring out what to do to get damage with peacemaker it was like the opposite it's just like I, I know how to get the comp with the combos with this guy and the damage is already there you know like it's it's very i'd say it's honestly very easy to get 40 to 50 percent you know yeah. with omni man you 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 busting your butt to to get 40 plus you really you got to be opti man now he's still a really strong character don't get me wrong but with peacemaker man two two into grab next thing you know 35 to 40 percent of your life bar is just gone, gone. Just, just disappeared and so yes i agree with you he definitely has that moment where you're in training and everything just clicks all right perfect we got sunio's in here and we got bartwell or uh no green i mean <laughs> that's, his, na that's back. his name on uh oh no he, he this guy's just bart yeah fart <laughs> okay the competitors are in here ready to go is no green going to be rocking the peacemaker like he has in his player card or is he going for the general shout Zunio or zonio as some people like to call him the general shout with chicken Zunio, no green this should be juicy i don't know what the hell is going on right now but these guys are just sitting in the <laughs> made in the character selects range just contemplating life and there it is i guess nobody's willing to you know put that risk on the line and try a brand new character you know, Tweety was the one that had the cojones to do it, but not Sunio. And you know, Caboose, a lot of people were saying Peacemaker is the character for Sunio. So I can't wait to see if that ends up becoming uh, a reality. Man, Sunio. This dude's been growing as a competitor since the dawn of yes. the dinosaurs. And I think he started to look like a dinosaur at this point. And look at I this, man, inkling. going crazy with the I have a weird inkling that once Homelander drops in this game and we find out that he's almost certainly going to be a zone-heavy character, Sunio's going to be having a new main. Really? Yeah, really. Why? No, wasn't able to land that combo. Had the striker to keep him a little safe. Get the cross up. No green now. Find some openings. Drops it, though. down and the dragon connects sunio takes the first round looking super clean man i feel like Liu kang as a character is just gonna be in his in his nice comfortable spot until this game decays you know the character has some really good tools some of the best staggers in the game without a doubt and to pair him up with a with, a, with the right cameo and my god you just open up a portal of options to, to go with So you calling me a liar? No, you're a liar and a stupid idiot. No green right now having a tough time contesting the zoning, and Sunio will take the first game zoning it out as he plays a little bit of Luke Deep Rock there. All right, Sunio. All right. Let's see you switch to. Uh, I want to see Sunio take a L on purpose and then switch over to the. Uh, <laughs> To the peacemaker. Let me get a piece. Now I got a piece Let me offer get for a you. Peacemaker then. How about Let me get a little peacemaker, please. All right, another uh, 50 seconds in the character select screen here as these players just contemplate about life. Hey, look, you want me to grab you a coffee? You know what, grab me, grab me some coquito. You want some coquito? No. No. What's that? Imagine? 
Wow, Caboose doesn't know what Coquito is? Somebody got somebody get this guy uh take him to fatties. Somebody take this guy to fatties.com. So he can buy himself a nice coquito. Yeah. Find me one of those. Man, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with the bracket, but so far, some of these players just narrowing down to the winner's final of their pools. Man, it's going to be a crazy one, Caboose. Very nice stuff from No Green. Our boy is putting on that serious pressure right now. He might possibly be playing on Wi-Fi as well. The connection doesn't look the greatest. There's Donald's gone. Okay, here we go. No green now. Into the corner. The axe slam. Gets the neutral jump. Not at the end of the round. Okay. No green. Answering back. Big Daddy Shao still in business. Don you, Caboose, I have a really, a really, a, it's a funny feeling, but it's a real feeling. I do feel like this game is going to age like fine wine. Oh, I'm a liar. One? No, absolutely. Oh, nice neutral tuck there off the back two string. All right, by the way, um, Mohawking Savage, I don't know if you're watching the stream, but... If you don't respond to us in the next five minutes on the cord, we will be issuing you a DQ out of the tournament. We have an opponent waiting for you, and we don't want to hold this tournament up any longer. I don't know if Mohawking's watching. I'm just giving you a little verbal heads up before we get you the hell out of here and never put you in another tournament ever. I feel like when you, when you do that, it's like when you're, when you're sitting down in class and you hear the PA system and the principal's calling you in to the office. You're like, oh, man. What do I do this time? Huge fatal blow destroyer. 48%. It's not quite enough. Oh, and that'll be enough, though, with the striker cameo. Oh, hold on. See what you're typing. What's going on now? I don't know, you saw what uh, Marie said? Yeah, I mean, if you're leaving in the middle of a match, this is DQ, man. <laughs> I, I'm, so, is this fair? I'm saying if he left during the match, it's a W, but if he left during character select screen, they, they should just replay it. Yes, absolutely. So, that's what I'm trying to find out from Deadly Rebel before he plays his next match, and I don't want anybody coming at me with a pitchfork, you know? I'm buying a pitchfork just for you. Hold on, I'm just gonna double check real quick with uh, Deadly Rebel. We were trying to get the grab destroyed. Gets the air projectiles. The zoning continues. Striker. What's the cross up? Okay, no green's gonna get a game on the board now. We're all tied up in the second square. <laughs> My goodness, it's just pure chaos today. I don't know, man. Last qualifier, everybody just lost brain cells and don't even know how to work uh, Star GG or play in a tournament anymore. But really good stuff. No Green going to be tying it up one to one with Sunio. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, I'm going to be real with you, bro. I'm going to start blacklisting some of these people from this tournament. Fortnite. And if they get mad at me, I'm gonna be like, yo, you you host the tournament, have them in your tournament, see how it is. Fortnite. No green. The one that's why Cal Khan is a force to be reckoned with no matter what game he's playing. Though, 
Keeping that distance. Oh, the overhead. That was dirty. Nutu ducking under the projectiles, but goes to the jump and gets caught again. Oh my god, he's alive. Kabushi's he's alive. Got one pixel. He's alive. Oh, my, oh god. my god. I don't think this converts into fatal, does it? Oh. Oh my goodness. Destroyer what the hell my breath. Axe came back down. I held my breath. Through there. No green. With the onslaught of pressure. Julio oh, answers back. Top of the wake up though again. Into the cross up. Into the throw. He's been what's so key for no green is keeping Sunio in this corner. Sunio thrives when he has all the screen space. All the real estate that he possibly can ask for to zone you the hell out. And no green has not presented him that opportunity. My god, I mean... Talk about a devastating Shao Kahn, right? The dude is I not giving him a chance to breathe. The up block, but again, not letting Sunio create the distance. Sure. We try to get a throw, but gets caught by the striker cameo. Oh! Oh my God! Zoning 101 from Zunio. Zonio, I should say. Zunio, Zonio. Oh my God! Caboose to back two connects. Huge opportunity. Oh, but where's the block? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Beautiful. Nice. There's the, the breaker. breaker. Sunio the breaker. still alive. Just barely. What? He tried to go for the down two. He tried to destroy you. He's doing everything he could to get out of there. But now no green's going to go up two to one. My God. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. When's the last time you had yourself a nice butter pancake for my hot wood extra? Brown sauce. Huh? With extra brown sauce. If you love me, why bring me into this What's that? <laughs> you never had the brown sauce from my hop? They got a special guy in the back that whips it up. What'd they put in that? No, the brown sauce. <laughs> You don't want to know what they put in that. Uh, oh, Junio. Trading in the air. Man, I gotta tell you something, bro. It, 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 it really annoys me when people hit me up, like, a couple hours before the tournament to be like, yo, can you please put me in? The sign-up's closed. And I put them and in and they, they just DQ. Yeah. It's like my boy. Okay. Patience right now. Oh my god, that's actually gonna take the round. No green. Looking to send Sunio to the losers. The down two gonna connect. Not fearful of the striker cameo. What a savage. Yo, he's getting these jump-ins pretty clean. Very. And he's fighting fire with fire. Bofa. Nice tech. Great anti-air leading into 32% there. Into the overhead now, Destroyer. Oh, Has been a tough competitor to beat. For Sunio's regular game plan, it has not been working out all too well. Just as I say that, though, finds a huge opening into Fatal Blow. Gonna land it. And this is gonna hurt. 
This is gonna hurt for upwards of 50%. Holy smokes, 52% into forward core. Air projectiles will connect. Studio staying alive here. Trying to backdash, he had no more stream space to use though. Walk on the overhand into the throw connect. Okay, now Junio just gonna back it up. That's a punish, but the striker cameo kept no green safe and led to a punish of his own. I can't even watch this anymore. Huh? I can't even watch this anymore. Turn it off. The zoning. No green gold for the flawless blocking, saying, all right, if you want to play full screen, I got the life lead. I mean, he's not really going to have that life lead for much longer if he keeps taking yeah, these uh, yeah, flawless blocks, man. Oh, no. And there it is. That life lead is pretty much gone. Their projectiles are connecting Studio. It started the terraform into Zonio. Oh, no. He's run out of screen space, so destroyer. And there we go, the down forward four. Studio closes the Saudi sending us to our first game five of the night. Wow. Brutality. Luke wins. I gotta be honest, I think it was to no green detriment that he just sat there and ate the chip damage because when he inevitably realized, shoot, I should be flawless blocking this, he wasn't able to land those flawless blocks successfully and just got opened up by one projectile after another. Okay. Uh-oh, Destroyer. <laughs> what? Sunio and No Green beefing in the chat now. Are you serious? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, look, I'm going to tell you what, you can't wait for the final match to start complaining about the connection because, you know, this is, I don't want to deal with this headache, man. Just finish the set. We'll DQ you guys for season three yeah. next time. Bro, we had a, we had a player, we had a unfortunately, bro, bro, we had a player on Wi-Fi that was eliminating people. When we DQ'd him in winners, he goes to losers and plays out a couple matches and, and he beat a person. <laughs> On Wi Fi. That happened bro. today? Yeah, that happened today. Oh, man. Bro, I, today is literally the chaos realm. Well, I guess it makes sense with the launch of the new season. I got Final a, game destroyer. I got a Between No Green and Sunio, No Green. Sends Sunio to the corner, but gets caught by that back jump. Nicely done there from Sunio. What, what pull is uh, Rebel in again? Is it pull one? I think so, actually. Okay, Beautiful side switch from No Green Destroyer, who's gonna land the forward throw. That throws this round out. Sunio has the three bars of meter, though. Cross up attempt. He went for the throw and got neutral jump punished. Sunio takes the round and is now on match point. Look for the up block. No green now getting caught by the projectile war. Try to go for that axe swipe. He doesn't know what wire is. This is not good. Destroyer. No green's not in a good spot here. Trying to walk down. Gets caught by the dragon. The zoning in full force, in full effect. Huge punish, has to break, there's no meter to work with now. Sunio is gonna take complete advantage. He had the anti-air, gonna close out the game. He doesn't yet though. No green has a chance. Oh my God. Oh no, and the pickup, and there it is. The forward for Sunio will take it, and he's going to disrespect. Destroy, I think we got a future champion of the realms arena after that. Very, very unfortunate end. You say you want me to DQ Sunio? 
Sunio says, get this laggy MF out of here. Ooh. He said, GG's though you tried. Oh man, that's that's hella disrespectful. Man. No, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but when I played no green in the set one time on stream, <laughs> that connection was atrocious. No, let me stop. <laughs> GG's <Simba. laughs> Chill, chill, G chill. <laughs> GG no green. Wow, dude. They're they're going at it. Let Let's them. Try. I think you gotta I think you gotta get the beef set. Let them go Ready crazy. Go. Let them go crazy, man. I, let the chaos ensue. Listen, have you seen the new uh season skins for this game? Everything went downhill. It's it, it's over. There's a yeah, there's, there's no 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 bars I don't, being I don't held know if anymore. I'm playing, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing a whole lot of invasion this season. <laughs> Wait, why not? Isn't that where you get the skins? These are the best skins in the game. Oh, my fault. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's really tough. But okay, no green is going to get sent to the loser's bracket. Sunio will move on now to the winner's semis, where he's going to face off against online Kale Destroyer. And the winner of that moves on into our winner's finals for pool four. We got a VLE six facing off against Forever King as well on the winner's semis for pool four. Okay. And destroyer. And, still and, so many killers and left. Real, and real quick, real quick, I just want to mention uh, if ELG Marie is still in the chat. So your boy ended up, according to Deadly Rebel, he ended up leaving during a combo. So that is 100% an L. That's DQ. Th yeah. Not a DQ, but that that's that's but, a loss well, yeah, for that DQ match. That one 100%. Yes, that so yeah. that that handles that. And look, I I did the dignity of holding off his next match to just make sure. So we're all good on that, all right? I'm trying to be the, the, the tournament T.O. of the year. I'm trying to be the tournament T.O. of the freaking year. Yeah, Destroyer. We also got Sir Coco Butter and Red Nose. That's we we need his. We need Coco, Coco Butter's sorry. PSN. We need who? Uh, Coco Butter's PSN. Coco Butter, what's your PSN? I asked for it in the uh, drop your PSN. He probably put it already, but I'm not entirely sure. What's uh? What's? Is he call me lotion? Wait. Um, oh, it, you, yo, destroy. Sometimes if you click on their Discord name, they have their PSN linked Word? to the Discord, so you can find them. Yeah. Oh, so get him in. Get him in. Yeah. We just need uh. No green to leave the the lobby. No, yo, he's pissed. No green, get out of here, bro. No green is pissed. I'll invite. I'll invite Coco Butter. Who else? And then it's Red Nose, right? Cocoa butter and red nose. Now, this is really, really freaking exciting, Caboose, because we get to see what Kenshi's like after the nerf, you know? We get to see how the character plays, especially a high-level yep. player like uh, Red Nose. He's made numerous top eights in COTR. The dude's a problem. The dude's a serious problem. So this is going to be really exciting to see what ends up happening here with uh, Kenshi. I mean, who's hyped? This is what you guys wanted. You guys wanted this character nerfed to the ground. And this is what we're getting. Caboose, no, don't play yeah. stupid with me. They wanted the character nerfed to the ground. And you know it's You're true. Right. You're right. You invited them? I sent them in the invite. You said we'll this, is, this is Red Nose versus Sir Coco Butter. Sir Coco. We'll stick a button out, baby. <laughs> Well, I'm just excited to see some more uh, Peacemaker, to tell you the truth. But it looks like we're going to be getting I know, I need Ashra. some more Peacemaker, It man. looks like we're going to be getting Ashra and uh, Red, uh, Kenshi. Yeah, okay, so this will be interesting, right? This is definitely going to be a testament to see what kind of change, if there was oh one. Never mind, he is God, not going to be that Kenshi. He's not gonna <laughs> is it that Kenshi. bad? <laughs> yeah, did, they, no. did the nerf really hit him hard? I haven't seen Kenshi in action, chat. Is it that bad? I need to know. They nerfed Kenshi. It was pretty significant, I'm not going to lie. Like, we're not going to sugarcoat it. The character takes damage if you hit Sento. 20 damage, I heard, Caboose. 20. But now, does it also, like, hit you out of, like, something potential? You know what I mean? Like, is it also just that it stuns you? Oh no, Marie says Akra is Kenshi's worst matchup. Ah, uh, okay. Even Akra really didn't get uh, too many adjustments, but I don't know if she needed it as much as some of the other characters. I, I'm, I'm most surprised, more than anything, that Johnny Cage survived. Like, this dude was unscathed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 
You want me to end the stream? This chat is, we, we gotta, chat is too much. We gotta, we gotta wrap it up. You want me to end the stream or you want me to get Janet Cage to commentate? We gotta, we gotta wrap it you up. want me to get Janet Cage to commentate? Get Janet Cage in there. You want me to get Janet Cage to commentate? Yeah, get Janet. Go Destroyer, Sir Coco Butter working on the flawless round here to close out this game just as I say that. With Punish City. Red Nose will take advantage. To the throw. That was a nice throw. Sir Coco Butter. Oh, and the with a down two. Uh, listen, we always talk about this. I feel like we always find ourselves in a situation like this, Caboose. You don't, like, even though it's a really bad matchup, you can't shy away from your main. Like, if it's the character you put your heart and soul into, I feel like you can overcome anything, right? Bad matchup, bad Please. matchup, bad crap. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, you were made an Omni Man for a long time. I don't know if that's going to change with Peacemaker, but I mean, a lot of the time you're winning sets because that's the character you stick with that you know in and out. Because what what is also really effective about sticking to one character and making that your main character through anything, through all your trials and tribulations, is that you get familiar Yo. with every single matchup. And okay, Red Nose now does make the switch back to Kenshi. Yo, chat, can anyone confirm? Is there an intro dialogue with Peacemaker and Kenshi where he says, you can't see me? I hope so. That, that'll be a, a missed opportunity. I feel like that writes itself. No? Nah, they missed an opportunity. Seriously, he didn't do nothing like, so wait, you really can't see me? Coco Butter says, I can't believe it's not Butter. Uh, I'm, putting, I'm, 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 putting, I'm putting all support issues on hold to see what Kenshi's about now. <laughs> I'm putting all support issues on hold to see what Kenshi's about. I'm sticking down with it. Okay, let's see what happens. Really good pickup there from Sir Coco Butter. I mean, that the life bars were a lot different for Almighty Red Nose now that he picked out the Kenshi. I feel like it's more slightly in his favor if he did a couple more uh, decision making right. People, people, people. Good blocks. Oh my god, he's gonna what, get the what? counter. He sets up the Cyrax. Was that an accident, Caboose? Yeah, was that a bit input? Oh, Sento just sliced the rock! Sento is out. I mean, this doesn't look nerfed to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's yeah, wait. see what happens. Wait a minute, what is this? Okay, okay, he's gonna get hit out of it. That was an incredible button push from Sir Coco Butter. Good blocks, that's plus frames. That down poke was incredible timing from Red Nose. Tries to go with the overhead. Oh no! You got a breaker. Is he gonna have time to break her? Wait, no fatal blow conversion? Boos, what is happening right now? Don't even know, Destroyer is turned into a scrambled egg sandwich. The air to air. Oh, Red Nose steals it. Wow. I can see your fear. That was kind of ridiculous. Good throw from Sir Coco Butter. Man, who, who is this player? Caboose. This guy just kind of came out of nowhere. Going crazy. I mean, things are still not looking too bright for Red Noses. Uh, Ultra has a fat life lead. Sento sandwich time. Nerf Sento sandwich. Oh, never mind. Does the bar drain fast? I'm not too sure, but that Sento was gone pretty quick. Yeah, I don't ever. I don't think I've noticed Sento going away that fast. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, right now. there's the damage. There's the 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 nerf in action. Oh, the fatal blow. What? The YOLO Fatal Connect! This man oh, tried to jump out of that? 
I don't know what that was, but that's going to be giving Red Nose the game 1,000%. Yeah, Red Nose does take it. Listen, even though the character caught a nerf, that fatal blow still hit him for <laughs> half your life. So, yeah, it, it, does Sento drain quicker, or am I going crazy? I, I don't know. I got to see again. I want to see it at least three more times. Because hey, I, I do not remember... What's, being gone what's messed that. up about this match too, Caboose, is whoever wins this is going to advance to fight against Tweety in the winner's final of their pool. Oh, my goodness. And Tweety's probably waiting in winner's final with a fat, he is. A fat peacemaker ready to <laughs> torpedo. <laughs> He's ready to gravity. Make Sonic boom. Are we getting into winner's finals after this? Uh, yeah, we are. No, no, no. One more match, and then we get into the winner's final. Yeah, okay. Because pool one still not sent. We got Hourglass of Rain waiting between the uh, the winner of Deadly Rebel and Lord Infamous. Pool two, like you said, whoever wins this will move on to face Tweety. Yep, yep. Pool three, we have Han Rashid versus the winner of the next match on stream. Then we should have yes, everything else set. Leta. Yeah. Listen, I don't know if you remember Kelso, but he's a Quan Chi player. Now that Quan Chi got some some new additions to his yes. arsenal, okay, I can't wait right. to see what's going to be going down with that character. Right. Somebody said Quan Chi looking mad ashy. He needs to put on some cocoa butter. Wait, don't do him like that, bro. Quan Chi's your great grandma. Uh -oh. Are you really gonna disrespect uh -oh. him like that? Wait a second, destroyer. The central sandwich is active. Oh, nicely done. The neutral jump kick. Beautiful stuff from Sir Cocoa Butter to survive like the Sento sandwich and take the round. I like that. I mean, Red Nose kind of running on a miracle right now. That last game that he won, bro, was way too close. Uh-oh. Oh, he dropped the Sento. Yeah, maybe it still lasts the same amount of time. I don't know. I don't know. The throw is going to meter burn it for the Sento activation. The wake up still gets stuffed and Red Nose ties up these rounds. Yo, the dude is really putting in that work with Kenshi. You think now uh, if Kenshi players thrive, you, you just got to let it rock now, huh? I guess so. Oh, the Cyrax net connects. How to move that you see landing all that much. Coco Butter was looking for the overhead. Oh, that is going to be a punish. Red Nose is trying to get back into his regular stance. Neutral ducks the throw, though. He's going to get a second opportunity. Instead of activating Sento, he goes for the Fatal Blow to cash out on the damage. They're playing the mini game. I like that mini game. The full screen stab. Sento in his face. But wait a second, it can be hit for the extra for the 20 damage. Oh, and that's gonna be the game into the brutal. Oh, this there guy. we go. Red nose is up 2-1. Not making it seem like there was a nerf for Kenji, if we're being honest. This guy came here to play, man. What do you think? He, what do you think instead? He came here to play Mario Kart? Bro, I don't understand what is going on. You are still... So Ghostface said he only logged out of one game? Yeah, but look what, look, look what uh, Deadly Rebel said. You, you reading this? Wait, what did Deadly Rebel say? I'm trying to catch is this in the support tab or yeah? Generally.
I mean, yeah, you're right. If you were trying to reach out to people and they're not responding in the support tab, what the hell else are you supposed to do, man? Yeah, I don't really know what the hell. Now, now Ghostface wants to be active on Discord after we've been trying to reach out to this guy for like 10 years. Well, whatever. Uh, I updated their score if that was what he was mad about, so... And, uh, Ghostface, he, he, let me, let me know. What's Nelson's score? Oh, that, that's fair, though. So he typed that he has video proof. He lagged out of game one. He won the second game and lost the third game. That would mean that it's 2-1. Well, if you see what Deadly Rebel wrote verbatim, uh, that's not what it sounds like. You feel me? So, I don't really yeah. think Deadly Rebel, somebody um, who competes in numerous tournaments, will lie about something like that. But then if this guy's saying he has proof, I don't know what to do. This is champions of the, uh, of the support. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Dead Deadly Rebel did say he won 3-1. Because he's got the match recording. All right, so then that's that. Play your losers match, Ghostface, and let's uh, continue on with the tournament. Really good stuff here from Red Nose. All right, Sir Coco Butter tries to go for the throw. Definitely wants to tie this up two to two. Wait a minute. Go for the jump in. Bro, too slow. Go to the breaker. The Cocoa Butter trying to send us to a game five here, Destroyer. Hitting that Sento. Uh oh, gets caught by it though, and the overhead now. Might be GG's. I mean, now Sento sandwich. Sir Coco Butter does have the fatal meter. Oh, Sento's cooled down now. Sir Coco Butter has a chance here. Destroyer needs to take advantage of it. The time is running out. Oh no, the Cyrax net connected. No, he doesn't get the combo. 10 seconds left, Destroyer. Tony oh Serino for full screen. Oh, the sword. It's not going to be enough to kill. Three seconds! Oh my no, god. Oh, and the Sento will close it out, and the tea bag from Red Nose, the tea bag! Oh, oh my goodness, he's gonna slice him up. That's the game, that's the set. Red Nose with a nail biter of a finish. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow. Wubsy. All right, that was incredible stuff. Congratulations to Red Nose, showing us that Kenshi's nerfs are definitely not as problematic as people thought it would be. And I just want to mention, man, listen, we have a cord with a support tab for a reason. If we That's are right. trying to contact you guys on the support tab and we're only communicating with one person, I don't really know what to tell you, man. We can't hold your hand uh, and we can't I mean, we can't we can't hold your hand and, and show you guys where you need to be. We we set up exactly. the rules. We we literally have everything set in place to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. And now there's like a situation here with uh with Ghostface and Deadly Rebel. Apparently Deadly Rebel uh, apparently Ghost left, but Ghost didn't leave, and these guys are just going back and forth, and holy crap, like, like what it's, happened? It's really simple, and this is what's, this guys, is what's really what happened? for me. You, you so it's not, it's not, it's not hard Discord. to play a first to three. If you, if you sign up for the tournament, you have to join the Discord. The point of you joining the Discord isn't just because we want to have a lot of people in our Discord or something. We, we, we need you in there and active if we need to reach out to you, whether it's to yes. play your match, whether it's to check in for your match, or whether it's for situations like this, to reach out to us when there needs to be a dispute on reported scores. Yes. So when we reach out to you guys and you guys aren't talking back to us or nobody's messaging us in the Discord, we then have to just take it into our own hands and make a decision. We can't just lock the, the, the bracket for 30 minutes and not have people moving along so that the rest of the tournament can go smoothly. So now you guys, these guys wait forever to respond and they're both there's conflicting messaging here um so deadly rebel is saying that he didn't report a 3-0 score but i read the chat above and he reported a 3-1 
What Ghostface yeah, and, and, is and, saying. At the end of the day, if I accidentally report a score 3 0 or 3 1 or, or 5 0 or 6 0, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yes. I, I mean, I'm but, sorry to say, I know so, probably you thing, as a player doesn't want that to re reflect on your record, but it doesn't really matter. If you lost, you lost. The thing that Ghostface is disputing, Destroyer, is that he didn't lose three games. He's saying he lagged out of one game, won the next one, which would make it 1 1, and then won game three, which would make it 2 1. He's saying that the set wasn't over and it's being reported as 3 1, which is what I'm super confused about. That's what I'm saying. I mean, so like, who. Who has the video proof or the screenshot yeah, that they on. won their we set, gotta, whether it gotta, was 3-0 or 3-1 or 2-1? Just somebody needs to provide proof. It's, we got to fix this. If, if they're, they're both saying they have video proof, and neither of them are providing it, which is incredibly frustrating. Yeah, I'm confused because uh, what I told this is exactly what I told Deadly Rebel. I said, if Ghostface quit during character select screen, you guys need to replay that match. It doesn't count as a loss. If he quit during the match, that will count as a loss. Yes. But it's not going to count as two losses is what it's looking like here. Yes. It's not, yeah, it's not going to count for the end of the set. And what's, what's you, crazy is that when I, like, try to add these, the players, they take 10 years to respond. We're trying to resolve the issue. So if you guys can please. Okay, so Deadly Rebel saying we can play another. So you see, okay, so, so what, what is out. going on? So what, what pool is this, by the way? Pool one? This is pool one. If you could uh, reset their match and, and make it um, so they have to play one more match or whatever. I mean, their match is still... like It doesn't look like the scores are fully set. I don't know if... Um, if Tyro Temptress reset it, but it just says 1-0 right now for Deadly Rebel. That's so for Lord they... Infamous. It's with Ghostface. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes. Well, so hold on now, though. The... Did, did Rebel start playing his match in winner's semis against Lord Infamous already and go up 1-0? Well, listen, we're trying to make things right. And if Deadly Rebel, if De you know what? what look, look, if Rebel went up 1-0 on Lord Infamous, let's keep that on record. So if, if he beats Ghostface in this potential final game, then he'll be up 1-0 on Lord Infamous. But let's just resolve this because we don't want anybody to feel like they're getting cheated here. That is the <laughs> last thing we want to do. We definitely want you guys to have a smooth tournament experience, but... Jesus. Essentially, the the the, lear the lesson learned going forward is, guys, if you're planning on signing up for Champions of the Realms, it forces you to join the Discord. We expect and would hope that you can be active in the Discord on Wednesdays and Fridays if you make top eight. That's all we are hoping out of you guys so that we can get a hold of people if we run into issues like this. So please download the app on your phone, have it pulled up on a laptop or a computer nearby where you play your game. So that if we're messaging you, if we're trying to hit people up, if we're trying to get a response, you can respond. You can mute the Discord so that you don't get spam and notifications, but just look over it every now and again to see if you've been added. It'll show a little one if somebody has added you specifically or if somebody adds everyone. We expect you again to just be active in the Discord on these specific days so that if we're reaching out to you, you can respond in a timely manner. We want to try and run a tournament as smooth as possible for everybody, but also at the same time, this is what's been incredibly frustrating. My boy Destroyer over here hasn't been able to commentate and provide anybody with the entertainment we also want to do each and every week for Champions of the Realms because he's been dealing with this mess. So, guys, you're all... Come on. Let's tighten up. Let's get it figured out. This isn't very hard. All right. Yeah, I mean, this. I feel like this is what you got to deal with, though, when you host a, a, a free-to-enter tournament. We definitely try to put everything in place to give you guys the smoothest experience possible. We try. But I literally think there's no saving some of these players because, I mean, <laughs> when, when, it, when, when it's literally their first online tournament, I mean, what, what can you expect, right? But anyways, hopefully we could uh, get things back on track here and we can uh, finish this tournament. We're just gonna have Deadly Rebel uh, play Ghost again uh, for that last match, apparently, because it was 2-1. So we're gonna let him play that match again, and then- um, Let him continue the set from 2-1. From 2-1. And see what happens. And see what happens. Okay, so who won this uh, that last set with Red uh, Red Nose and Cocoa Butter? Was that was that? I think Red Nose won, Red Nose won. Red Nose, okay, was that 3-1? 
Honestly, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay, so it's okay. As long as Red knows one, let me just advance him. He lost. Damn it, so, he lost. Our, our winner's finals match destroyer for pool two is set, and then it's Tweety against Red Nose. And man, that is explosive for a winner's finals match. Now, if we go over to pool one, we are going to have to wait for Rebel to finish his set against Ghostface, and then oh, we'll see oh, who moves oh, on to oh, face off oh, against oh, Hourglass of Rain is waiting in the winner's finals of Pool 1. In Pool 3, we're going to get our next match, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, hold on. It should be between Kelso and Shuleta. Han Rashid moves on to the winner's finals in Pool 3. He's awaiting the winner of our next match up. Do you want me to send the invite out to these guys? Yeah, go for it. And it looks like we got a couple of these winner uh, finals matches already lined up here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, yep. Online Kale, just an update. Online Kale ended up taking it uh 3-0 over sunio crazy yep. stuff crazy yep. stuff and then uh i'll just try to keep in touch with these players here and see what ends up happening with ghostface and, and all that mess and we'll try to get uh we'll try to get um pool one moving forward once that's all set in stone um what's kelso's psn is it ttv kelso two times is that the one Uh, oh, Kelso, hold on. He actually dropped it in the PSN. Let me give it to you right now. It's uh, Kelso's PSN. It's TTV yeah, yeah, underscore. Got it. I got okay. It. Yeah, that's the one. All right, this yeah, should be exciting, though. Like... Now we're yeah, gonna get be a good one. Now we're this gonna get uh, Quan Chi in the building. Going up against so I, I was Chuleta. To read over the Chuleta. What, is, what does the new portal do? It's a meter drain. So you activate it, and then also just to keep in mind. You can have all three portals up at the same time now, Caboose. So he can have oh. he can have the the portal that keeps you away that is kind of acts like a wall, you know. He can have the portal that he gets those enhanced projectiles and the new portal. It drains meter, not by much though. I was noticing it, Caboose. It's a very little meter drain. It's not as crazy it's not, as it's Serena's. Not to Tony Serino's. It's not as crazy as Tony Serino's. It's a lot less, but. If you're stuck in that portal for a long enough time, Quan Chi does end up getting a hit of armor. So it's kind of, it's like a watered down summoner Quan Chi, if you're, not summoner. Okay, um, okay. What was the variation name where he summoned like the armor portals on him in MKX? Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking it's about. It's like a very watered down version of that. You put the portal on your opponent after like a couple seconds, he gets the a hit of armor. Portal, he, he, he spawns that little like tornado thing underneath you or whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right, and Anyways. then please, Deadly Rebel Ghostface, please keep us updated with this situation yes. because we need to get this uh, moving forward. And Shuleta's PSN is just Shuleta, right? Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, what's the... Uh, because I invited Shuleta, I think. I got his PSN right. Wait, what happened to Shuleta? We're waiting for him to join. I'm just making sure I got the right PSN. Before we send any invites, just wait one second. Chuleta. Let's fix a couple things here in the bracket. Uh, Chuleta. Let's see. All right, all right. Give us one second, chat. Thank you so much for the patience, everybody. Yeah, there's uh, some players getting DQ'd here because they didn't check in, and we should honestly just let the DQ stay. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Shuleta tagged Taro Temptress, so I hope everything's all right with him. Hopefully, Did he when? Huh? When? Uh, literally at eight ten, so a minute ago. Oh. So, Shuleta, if you could let us know what's going on and not just tag people and not tell us what the problem is <laughs> so we can uh, resolve your issue. You stupid idiot. Sorry. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, did he let us know I, what's going on? I invited him twice. I hit him up on Discord trying to get his PSN and as well trying to see if he got my invites in case I was inviting or wasn't inviting the right psn i'm not getting any response here i don't know what's going on this is this is exactly what i'm talking about man like guys please please use the discord 
Man, final qualifiers might be the final tournament. Uh, King Gambler I'll, says... I'll go ahead and, and at him, too. King Gambler, apparently, uh, Shuleta in the chat said he's in the he's caught up in the middle of something and needs more time. Really? Um... How many how many winners finals matches are set to show? Should we just jump into some winner finals matches? Uh, yo, you know what? Let's take a quick five minute, bro. Let's take a okay. quick five minute, and when we okay. get back, if Chuleta's not ready, then we'll probably just let these guys play off stream, and that might we got, actually we got set pool up. Pool two and pool four winners finals set. We got pool two and pool four. Yeah. All right. Let's take five minutes so if we could get the issue with uh, uh, Rebel and Ghostface resolved. And then after that, we'll just jump straight into uh, the winner's final of the pool. Okay. All right, we'll be we're right going to take back. a quick break. We'll see you guys then. Don't go anywhere. Stupid idiots. What is up, everybody? Champions of Rome's final qualifier. Champions of the support tab. It's going down. We've had some Champions wild... Of technical difficulties. Champions of the technical difficulties. We had some crazy scenarios take place tonight, and oh my god, it's so cool, dude. And I'm excited for these next couple matches here. Uh, uh, currently, we're waiting for Shuleta versus Kelso two times. He did say to just give him now, one more minute. Destroyer. What? In a, in a weird twist of fate, after they had run their match back, or not run their match back, but finished their set. Oh, you're talking about... Only supposedly 2-1 you want to let them know which who you're even talking about ghostface has actually won his set against deadly rebel so ghostface now will instead be moving on to the winner's semis to face off against lord infamous now look all i'm gonna say about that situation caboose is you know if you are a player that's been in tournaments for a long time you should know it's 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 a it's a best of five it's a first to three it's a best of five it's a first to three i don't know what went wrong i don't know how that ended up screwing up it's but it's really it's really not if, hard to to you know yeah if you didn't three. if you didn't play your opponent in a first to three uh, a best of five then the set's not over yet simple as that um, the reason why i ended up reporting the score uh that rebel won is because of what he told me and I was under the impression that that was three games. And, you know, because yeah. of the lack of uh, communication from Ghostface not being in the cord, we couldn't resolve the issue. But we resolved the issue. Um, the, the match is over. And listen, we just want to do what's ask, right. All I'm going to ask is in a future situation that we run into that's similar to this, if ever there is a situation similar to this that we run into, if both of these competitors are saying that they have proof of the scores, proof of whatever please just provide it hit us up on twitter and put it in the discord provide the proof all right it was very frustrating that both the competitors on both sides were saying i have proof of this and i have proof of that and none of them were providing this supposed proof so at the end of the day as to's all we can do Shuleta's ready is, uh, yeah i sent him the invite just now um all we can do is just sit here and try to figure out a way to to compromise or trying to figure out a, a compromise for both parties to be happy and deadly rebel agreed to run it back even though it technically wouldn't have been running it back it would have been completing a set that was left off at 2-1 and it ended up being that ghostface took the set 3-2 like that's just the way that the cookie crumbles if the set if it truly was the way that ghostface was was laying it out where he he quit the first game or he lagged up the first game that means it's one game now for Deadly Rebel to zero, all right? Then Ghostface wins the second game. That means it's 1-1 one, one in the set. And if on the third game, Ghostface loses, the set is not over. And so that's what we tried to get to the bottom of is why it was reported as 3-1 or why Deadly Rebel was considering a 3-1 when it wasn't Yo. that. Yo, Wacky, thank you for the support, the brother. You have an incredible night. Than the valley. You're welcome. You have an incredible night. Judge that. All right, let's get this popping. Quan Chi buffs. Quan Chi buffs, Caboose. Here we go. Hopefully, we don't run into any more issues from here on out, Destroyer. Just a couple of more matches before the end of the night, before we start to figure out who's going to make it into the winner's side of our final top eight before the finale destroyer. Kelso versus Chuleta. This match determines who makes it in to that winner's final. And so far, Chuleta is off to a great start. 
Ooh, he's looking juicy, man. Chuleta rocking the, the Johnny Cage Lao. Oh, you know what it is, Caboose? Because Quan Chi, if there's one thing I don't think they buffed of his, is his pokes. I think he still has trash pokes. But okay. I think the purpose of that is they, they want to make Quan Chi a, a really strong keep away character, right? Implementing him able to put multiple portals on the screen and just all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm seeing the meter drain. I'm seeing the meter drain. It is very minimal. Like you said. So, is that, You think it's a bug? I, I don't know because that... That almost makes no difference. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I will right? say the only time that you can potentially see that become a factor is when your opponent's close to that three bars of meter and you shut them down from a potential breaker. That's what's always so useful about using that Tony Serino cameo every now and again is avoiding your opponent getting the hit on the breaker or your, your opponent getting the opportunity to hit the breaker. But hey, just as I'm saying that, Shuleta's going to take the first game with this Johnny Cage. Very tough to deal with. No doubt about that. Really convincingly too, man. The people in the chat are saying that apparently the armor is also pretty key as part of the buff here to Quan Chi. Let's see if that's gonna come into play during this set. Well, keep in mind, it's only one hit of armor. Yes, that one hit of armor will allow Quan Chi to MVP. do a lot, but Kelso is not even gonna be bothered with it. He's just gonna yeah, go straight to Tanya Goro. <laughs> And he's gonna shut his brain off in and just corner, helicopter, helicopter Goro any chance he gets. One, someone truly unimpressed. You ready for some helicopters? Helicopter! Finally, it's at least nice to see somebody rocking Tanya. Gonna put it on you with the Batania. Gonna put it on you with the Tanya Batania with the Goro kit. Nice up block there, destroyer. Okay. Helicopters, gonna start breakdancing a little bit, tries to get the plus frames from the Goro, but mistiming it, very unfortunate. That's gonna allow Chuleta to get that dreadful Johnny Cage pressure on full effect here. Into the nut punch, into the standing one, two plus frames. Notice, Chuleta's trying to bait out the armored attempts from Kelso, but I don't think a Tanya player is gonna throw out those helicopter kicks unless the Goro's ready. Right about that. Or he saying I'm wrong? That could have been a huge punish actually for Kelso, but nevertheless, he's gonna find the opportunity to hit that fatal blow. And that'll be the round. Rip the arms right out of the socket. I like that. Johnny says, yeah! <laughs> Kick it! Boom. boom! The boom burger. Me with the boom burger. My name is Jean-Claude Van Damme. You know, Goro actually boom. got his nipples buffed in this one, right? Boom. Man, I feel bad. Everybody's uh, redeeming the channel uh, sound alerts, and oh, I forgot to turn them off. Okay, I'll give you guys some sound effects. You want some sound effects? You forgot to turn them off, or you forgot to turn them off? I forgot to turn the redemption off. Uh, I'm making it up to them right now. I'll go right now. Press me. Press me. Press me. Too slow. Too slow. I want to tie this right up. Too slow. Gotta be extra careful though. The overhead will connect for Chuleta. And Chuleta said that he will be making the best ledger's cake for everybody. Nicely done. The Batanias are gonna put it on you. This guy, uh, Shuleta, is trying to prove here, but my boy, you can't go from one brain dead top tier to another. Like, if, you, if, if you're trying to hide from the Raiden Kano, don't even hide from it. Just whip out the Raiden Kano, bro. There's no shame. Netherrealm didn't even touch the character. I mean, at this point, everybody should be playing Raiden Kano. You think I'm wrong? I think you're wrong, and you're a big, stupid idiot. Wait! Liu Kang? What's the matter with this guy? What's the matter with this guy? Oh, Kaboo, somebody said you're a stupid beef rager 500 kg bomb idiot. This guy's just having the TV bomb. Uh, what the hell, Dice? 
What happens if you use two projectiles and cancel out all the projectiles? It's just gonna hit on like some Street Fighter stuff. Oh, there it is. I got my answer right there. I'm a stupid idiot. I should have known. A lot of zoning Somebody go happening here. I tried here. to hit exclamation point. Stupid idiot. Yeah, make sure you go to Caboose's chat to do it. Good neutral duck. That uh, loses that trade. Ooh, that actually could have been kind of scary for Kelso. He's gonna get caught by the forward four. But oh no, Shuleta didn't expect for it to connect. Oh, and there it is. The meter burn projectile. Kelso wow. with neutral duck. Talk about some craziness. Good blocks. Oh, the drill kick actually connects. This is going to be some juicy damage with the corner control. Unfortunately, he does not have 401 at the stagger into the throw, but was that a micro duck that just happened in the snap of a finger? Or was that a chuleta chuleta? Would have been a, a little bit of chuleta chuleta. Yeah. Good throw. He could have gotten a combo with the Motaro. I'm pretty sure, right? Could have. But here we go now. Here's the Fatal Blow Destroyer. Massive Fatal oh, Blow from Kelso kill. two times. Why do I feel like somebody's put a bet on Shuleta to, to make a top eight without Raiden or something? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This this doesn't feel right. I don't know what's going on. Oh, he wanted the down two. Goro whips. Look at the Batanyas. This is getting crazy, the, the throw is gonna the connect! Teleport. That's the game. Clutch stop. Utilizing the Motaro when it was needed to close the game out. Gonna be going up 2-1 to one on Kelso. Yo, just a, a crazy update, by the way. In this pool, pool number 3. Can't stop the train. 3-0 over Han Rashid. My goodness. And now he's down 2-0 against Pop-Tart? You think oh, he's been, man. like, just going full Peacemaker? You know what I'm seeing people post, too, about Peacemaker Destroyer? Wait, he's got an infinite? If you got the Jax cameo, you can avoid the ground pound. Oh, my God. That's right. With, um, with uh, anti-gravity, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. Wow, I mean, hey, what a turn of events. Ghostface actually making it into the winner's final. What a turn of events, huh? Seriously, my goodness. After all the controversy. 3-0 over Infamous. Wow, wow, loves it. Okay, wait a second. Kelso two-time showing us some sauce with the Quan Chi. Okay, this is a beautiful round for Kelso. Wiping out that life bar in the blink of an eye, and we got Squidward Tentacles backing him up. Sets up the ice ball. Oh my god, Caboose. Not gonna connect. But that was so much plus frames right there. All right. So I'm wrong. You're wrong. Going with the zoning again. Kelso two times. Trying to make something happen here. Good blocks. He's going to get opened up with the staggers on the forward four. This is huge for Chuleta right now. The combo was juicy. Look at the chatter skull. Blows up the armor again. This should be a conversion to just about close out the life bars here. Hey, yo. You just read that in the chat? Nah, just for that, we need another 10 gifted immediately. Oh, God. But we just said about Quan Chi's oh, uh, tentacles. No. Yeah, they're right though. Oh, the low connects. Kelso gonna push the it portal screen. Stealing the meter. That's right. And I think he gets a hit of armor here. No? How much? He, how long he gotta stay in yeah. the portal for? How long does he need to be out for? I felt like it was siphoning his energy for a fat minute there. I saw like a little. I mean, it's projectile like destroyer. Oh, he avoids the projectiles to get the jump and punish. Oh, that's 
42 percent. Not like this. Oh, okay, he wakes up with the ground pound or the ground slam, and that's the game. Kelso sends us now to a game five. What are the odds that you see this man switch to Raiden right now, right here? Chuleta says that's a low. Good to know. Yeah, no, that's an overhead. He thought the tele you thought the teleport slam was a low. Can you believe this guy? Wait, what? You know what? Why don't we just DQ Shuleta right now and just defend Kelso? For all I know, if this guy had a bet, he definitely just lost it. A price worth paying to harness his power. You know what? Why don't we just DQ him right now and let's go make a threat to HSK? Actually sounds like an incredible idea. Wait, Shuleta has finally succumbed to his demon destroyer and pick Raiden. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Oh my god, the Thunderfly to go over the Quan Chi. Uh -oh. There's gonna be a fat punish here. He's gonna spend the meter. Going for the Optis. Standing 3-4, standing 3-4 into the Wakataka when in to doubt. Storm Cell. When in doubt. Oh, nice pickup. So broken. All right, Kelso not out of it just yet. He still has some fight in him. Well, he wanted that, he wanted that read that could have potentially anti-aired him and he could have gotten a convert. But Chuleta. Oh, nicely done. Wasn't able Wait, to what? Catches the low on the frost. Oh, that wasn't even a mix-up. Great block there off the Thunderfly attempt. Oh, what is happening? Oh Go my jail. god! Now, didn't this move get buffed as well? Are you seeing this? The cage got buffed so that it lasts a little longer, too, if I remember reading that correctly. Oh, Kelso's fall is blocking all over the place. Nice. Go for the sky drop. He can close this out and take the round. Oh no. That's potentially the end destroyer. My heart. Uh, that's devastating. My heart, bro. That is devastating. Wow. Kelso you know almost took out a demon in this bracket, bro. When in doubt, Storm sell it out. Now, Kelso's not eliminated. Kelso still has an opportunity here in the loser's bracket to try and make a run and get into that top eight on the loser's side. But that does advance Chuleta to the winner's finals, which I now believe we are going to be getting into, I think, Pretty much all our winners finals matches are set, Destroyer. That's it. We're ready to jump in there and get this action started. I mean, this Let's has been it. one hell of a tournament. Peacemaker just came out. I'm surprised we're even able to run this, you know, given the circumstances that's been going on and we had a massive update. I'm just glad we're able to get this tournament out of the way. The final qualifier. And we had some Peacemaker debuting in here, man. You know, Tweety going crazy yeah. with Peacemaker. We could see more of it later. We could see more of it later. I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into these matches. Uh, these ready. Uh, pool number Wait, one. Wait, Hourglass of Rain is Bratz Pack, right? Yes, Bratz Pack. And it looks like pool number one, exclamation point bracket in the chat if you guys wanna check this out. Pool number one is gonna be Hourglass of Rain versus Ghostface. The guy who was essentially six feet under, but now he is in winner's final. Crazy Seriously, stuff. They, they Again, after a, a debacle in the Discord after that we he tried had to the settle, bomb hot sauce, we after hot ones, the bomb beyond insanity, we finally figured it out. Uh, Ghostface completed his set against Deadly Rebel, ended up moving on to face off against Lord Infamous, where he won 3 0 to then move on into the winner's finals. Now we're awaiting here our first winner's finals match between Ghostface and Hourglass of Rain, and again. This is where it becomes more crucial than it's ever been, Destroyer. Seriously. Each of these matches we're about to go through for these winners' finals, they are going to determine who ends up on the winner's side of our last top eight before the finale. This is it, man. Finale. I don't know where the hype is. This is the last qualifier for Champions Season 2. Come on. I need you guys to get hype in the chat. We have over Let's 600 go. viewers in the channel. It's it's crazy. Let's get some emotes. Let's get Caboose emotes, Destroy emotes. The also, whale emotes. Whale emotes, exclamation point. Matt Chirino, if you guys want to contribute to the prize pool, this is almost the last moment. You have this week. 
the top eight and then the finale that's going down on March, uh, I forgot, but it's happening March really 8th. soon, March 8th. March 8th, the finale goes down to Square, but also be ready and be prepared for this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv forward slash caboose, where you're gonna see week eight's top eight go down. And here we go. Hourglass of Rain against Ghostface, and Ghostface is rocking the Scorpion. Yo, this was a very diverse tournament this week, man. We had so many different characters. Seriously, Ghostface has been this competitor kind of popping up out of nowhere here. This Scorpion has also been so tough to deal with. I love seeing it. Now, Hourglass of Rain starts things off. Big, big start there. Ghostface. Looking to try and slow the pace down a little bit. Gets the overhead on the Molina ball roll. Says, have a taste of your own medicine. Oh, into the Jade cameo now. Very nice. Beautiful stuff to extend the combo there from Ghostface for a healthy 35%. So I like to see Scorpion. I think we've seen Ghostface actually play before in the Dude is yes. out of control. We have, we have. The Scorpion is ridiculous. I don't know if Hourglass of Rain was looking for that Kung Lao hat to hit, more so for its setup. The teleport connects. Close face. And then last little bit of life, and he's gonna get caught by the Lao hat, and that'll be the round. Good pressure here from Hourglass of Rain. You know, Hourglass of Rain, another competitor that's always making waves, making noise with the Molina, but he's always just one step short in Jamming the Realms. I don't know what it is, but this guy's got a lot of fart in his butt. <laughs> this is his chance, Destroyer, to potentially make the run. The runs, he's got the runs, yes. He's got the runs. This guy is uh, actually secretly Bo Reichel. Really? Yeah, you didn't hear it? Oh, I didn't know. Hey. Hard is puking everywhere every day. Really? Yeah, it stinks. You don't know, smell that? I smell it. It's overhead into low. Most face finding it tough to get any sort of momentum going, and that has led to the loss of this first game. Yeah, man, very unfortunate. I wonder if Ghostface has other characters up his sleeve. Uh, if I do remember correctly, he was playing maybe uh, Liu Kang was the other character he had, I think. This is a pretty safe bet. I feel like a, a lot of people's secondaries are going to be Liu Kang, something that's uh, really easy to get a hang of, and it just offers you some crazy stagger potential, you know? No doubt. All right, Hourglass of Rain up one game to zero. This is winner's final. Whoever takes this is going to be the first competitor in our final top eight. That's going to be going down 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. This for Oh, no, wait, Caboose, I forgot to mention. Top eight for this Friday is actually going down 7 p.m. EST. 7 p.m.? Yeah, we're pushing it an hour because I have something really important to take care of. Oh, okay, okay. Are you cool with that? No. All right, well, 7 p.m. regardless. And I'll make sure to reach out to all the players to, to make sure everyone's cool with that. So we're going to be starting uh, the, the top eight on Friday on Caboose's Twitch channel one hour later at 7 p.m. And again, I see a lot of support in the chat. Y'all been going crazy with the subs. Really appreciate it. Oh, Ghostface actually rocking the Johnny Cage here. It's not gonna be as effective as the Scorpion was. Man, Rats Pack really putting a beating on Ghostface right now. Look at these back dashes. Go with the. He just shoots out the ball row. No fear at all with the safety net of Lao Low Hat. Wowzers. Heineken Man in the oh, background wow, is pissed. Wait. There's two freaking Heineken men. Look at behind the, the... If they go more to the left side of the screen, bro, I need you to look behind the, the little vase. The little plant vase they got. It's literally a clone of Heineken Man. Are you kidding me? How many how many Heineken men they got in this, in this mission? 700. Wow. There it is. 
Fatal Blow conversion. Oh no, the breaker from Brad's back. Hey, I would have gave it to him. I would have let him Fatal Blow. Yo, he can actually make a comeback. Oh my god, the miracle jump! Can't even speak, man. Oh my goodness, the intensity is so real, but Hourglass of Rain is able to close that out. Destroyer. Might be the fastest match of the night, let me tell you. If Hourglass of Rain is able to uh, get the 3-0 in this next match, I'm telling you, Caboose. This was Loki a speed run. Seriously. 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 You gonna play Peacemaker after this tournament? Yo, I'm dying to go into the lab with that character, man. Damn, what are you gonna do with him? You gonna Sonic Boom or what are you gonna do? Going the lab. You gonna Sonic Boom? You gonna you gonna anti gravity? Activate anti gravity. Do? Activate anti gravity. Activate Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Activate Torpedo. Eagle it. Eagle it. Eagle it. Activate Torpedo. Activate Stupid Idiot. Okay. Sorry, that's not one of his moves? No, 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 no. I thought it was one of his moves he throws like multiple destroyers or people. Really? So he, throws, really? so he throws the ships from Hell Divers at really? you. So he throws the destroyer ships from Hell Divers at you, huh? That's right. Interesting. Yo, yo, the yo, how, I know. How <laughs> funny is it when you log into Hell Divers and it says, Ally Destroyer? <laughs> Inbound. You're like, oh man, I have my friends in private. How'd he get in here? They all know they're dropping in the stupid idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Ally Destroyer. <laughs> Lincoln. I was like, wait, what? Let this Troy get in here. Good patience here from Hourglass of Rain, hitting him with a classic Molino Balro anti air. That's sick. That is sick. Oh, and there it is. Into the that's brutality brutal. as well. Yikes. Oh, yo, goodness. she took the mask off. Is it floating? It's, see, it's floating. Look at it. It's just floating. It's just floating. How did she do it? She took the mask off and it's just floating, bro. My goodness, great game there, Destroyer from the Hourglass of Rain taking that set 3-0. Hourglass of Rain now moves on into our top eight on the winner's side, the first competitor to do so for the final week. Wow, wow, Wubsy. Now move on into pool two, where we're gonna see Tweety fight Almighty Red Nose and Destroyer, I am very excited for this set it is going to be an intense one tweety of course one of the only the only person we've seen on stream today rocking the peacemaker i'm not sure if tweety's going to be sticking with that pick we just need hourglass please to leave the lobby if he doesn't mind bro all i gotta say is you know I, deadly rebel had a rough one this week for sure because rumor just came in He's going to be taking the L in losers. Nelson, Nelson is bad taking it over Deadly Rebel. Oh, no. Nelson is we need, bad. Yo. Now, I need to know. Yo, Hourglass, leave the king of the hill, please. He, he does this every week. He does this every week. Oh, my goodness. What do you, what do these guys do? Hourglass, leave the king of the hill. There we go. Tweety says that Caboose is on the loose like Dr. Seuss. He's dropping bars in the chat. Wow. And he, oh, okay. I think he's going for the, the, oh, he's the rocket. Oh, he's here? Oh, no. Never mind. 
Some more Peacemaker action coming your way. Red Nose still sticking with the Kenchi. Tweety says he's going to be rocking Peacemaker. He's ready to deliver some peace by any means necessary. Listen, I got to tell you, man, final qualifier uh, week eight. We got Tweety in the building. I'm excited. I'm very excited about this as well. Yeah, Tweety has starts off first. with the torpedo twice in a row. This man is going full brain dead Peacemaker up in this. Oh, my goodness. Now, in the corner is where Peacemaker dishes out some absolutely ridiculous damage. Don't get a twist it, Caboose. Miss Green, he's in a fat Danny as well. No doubt. No doubt. Yo, Hourglass of Rain with the raid. Welcome, everybody, and congrats again to Hourglass. For shout out to Hourglass. Top eight. Big shout out to Hourglass. Torpedo. Oh, he just gets down to and it shuts down Wait. the Kano. Wait a second. Wait a second. You definitely make blows this at the ready. You definitely make this happen. the drop with the anti-gravity. Um, what's scary about anti-gravity as well is with a cameo like um, Kano, you can back it up with Kano Ball. You can back it up with Kano Knives. So sometimes going for that up block on anti-gravity can be the death of you. So really smart awareness from Almighty Red Nose. Not over committing to anything here. Knowing that, that that Kano safety net could be very problematic. Bro, why does it feel like I'm watching an Injustice character in full effect here with Peacemaker? It, that's right, actually. You're not, you're not wrong. That's totally what it feels like. This is anti-gravity. It does come from the DC universe. He, he said, activate Toto Teta. Oh, this could hurt Destroyer. Jesus. Look at this now. Oh, my God. Look at this oh now. Oh, my God. Come on, oh, man. Peacemaker is here. 453? Uh-oh. The Cyrax net, though. This could actually be the end of the game. I think it is. I don't, I, he probably doesn't even need Fatal. Wait. Why wouldn't he just Oh, that's the dangerous. Fatal, He's going to wake up Torpedo. Oh, and he knocks his helmet off, too. <laughs> Brutal. Good finish there for Red Nose. Closing out game one. What, what's Unfortunate end. It was Tweety. very unfortunate, but what's super crazy about that combo that Tweety had... He could have done more, <laughs> believe it or not. Yes, he could have. It, again, it's that it's the the dart, the blow dart that really extends and gives you so many options in the corner yeah. for your damage potential, man. It, it, it's insane. This character has got. I mean, the key word there is potential. But all right, Weedy's not going to mess around, especially considering this is Winners Finals. He's going to jump back now to Baraka. And it's scary, too. It. It's scary, Caboose, because, you know, risking a game like that on a day one character, it could bite you in the in the butt in the long road, you know? Red Nose is up 1-0 here, you know? Say they go into a scenario where it's 2-2 final game, you know Tweety's going to be thinking to himself, man, I shouldn't have thrown that that uh, Peacemaker in there. Even though it was right. super viable, he definitely could have taken the game with Peacemaker. He would have been more comfortable with Baraka. With Baraka Kaka. 100% and the Sento Sandwich now active. He calls it in and charge it up once again. Tweety trying to get out of this. Gets down to And that's the round. So, this character got nerfed? <laughs> Supposedly. When did this character get nerfed? This is just chop suey all over the place here. Sento going ballistic right now in the corner. Oh, he had the neutral duck. Didn't go for the micro duck punish though. Instead went for a down one. Into that the fatal. That should do it. That wow. should close it out. Ooh, actually. It might not. This is a straight up slug fest here, Caboose. These guys are knocking each other out the box. Okay, there it is. Can I get a wow wow wubsy for the one time? One time for the one time? Let me get a wow wow wubsy in the chat for the one time, please. Let me get a wow wow wubsy in the chat for the one time, please. I will.
Oh my god, good throw. Beautiful stuff, Red Nose. Able to close that one out. Now up 2-0 in the set here, Destroyer. This puts Tweety in a pretty uncomfortable position. So you're telling me Kenji actually got nerfed this patch? Again, apparently. That's what that's what the streets are saying. I don't know. It's crazy because, you know, there's not too many opportunities that the Kenshi player gives you a chance to really hit Sento, right? It, it's like, it's a rare occasion where you get that that window, that, that frame to kind of dish out damage to Sento. I, I want to see if Red Nose is ever put in a situation where he's full screen and he's like resummoning Sento with the um, grab loop. Because then that could cost him a lot of HP if he wants to loop that that situation. 100%. Because not only is are the invulnerable frames gone from that um, grab callback, but it's 20 damage each hit you do to Sento. So imagine a scenario like that. You'd probably lose a lot of HP. That's right. So you're calling me a liar? No, um, no. Yes, actually. You know what? Yes. Explosive start now, Destroyer for Red Nose in this third game match point now. Yo, I'm not even trolling Caboose. Somebody in the chat legit thinks we have another fallen sweat in here. Are you serious? Yeah, now we're getting a rumor that Nelson is bad, is in fact fallen sweat. Are you serious? I wish I wasn't joking. Mighty Unjust says Destroyer is him. Brother. Are you serious? How do we know this? Let me see something. El Kukui says I know his hiding. Okay, hold on. Right now, Destroyer, we're in a really tight position for Tweety. Trying to close out this set, or trying to get a game in this set. Whereas Almighty Red Nose is the one trying to close out this set. He does have the full stick of butter. Didn't offer the break grab to fade a blow. Hold on, hold on, Can hold Tweety on. do something to salvage this? Who is he playing right now? Oh, wait a second. No, trying to go for the throw. Gets poked, and that is it. Red Nose with the 3-0 is also going to be advancing to our top eight on the winner's side with this Kenshi that was apparently nerfed as of this morning. I'm not seeing too much of a nerf though, if we're being honest. Was that 3-0? Turkey says, Nelson, High Ranker, and Fallen Sweat are the three musketeers of Heidi. Bro, please tell me that's not the case. How do we know for sure, for sure? Um, I don't know, but we're gonna have to figure that out right now. So hold on. Mighty and just says he has three Heidi's, that's one of them. How do you know though? What we need to know, how do you know? How do you know this is one of his Heidi's? He has the same location. He just took out his name. Okay, hold on. I don't know what that means. Hold on, hold on. Um, I think it's true. You know why? Because this account was just recently created. And so is the Star GG. Wait, how do you know uh, about the Star Kui GG? says I played him on it in MK11 on all of his accounts. Yo, Fallen Sweat, you're such a piece of garbage, man. Yo. Why? Like, bro. Like, Where why? Where you see that? Uh... Like, why? It is a new account. I think it is Fallen Sweat. Why Why are you entering tournaments on multiple PSNs, man? Bro. Just play on one PSN. If you make it hold in, on, you hold make on, it hold in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because um, uh, Deadly Rebel got eliminated by him, but let's see if we can run this back here. Hold on. Let me see something. I'm going to DQ Nelson is bad. He's not even responding to us on the cord. I mean, because at this point, the dude's going to have to back himself up. But yo, Caboose, like... 
I really don't know what to say about this. Well, this like, is, what a piece of garbage. This Seriously, is, this, like, is, this is honestly how, crazy. How bad do you have to be at this game to try and get ahead on three separate yo, accounts? Yo, can, bro. Can, can, Caboose, can you do me the biggest favor and tell Deadly Rebel to play against uh, Ness Hero? Because Deadly Rebel could still be in the tournament. I'm just going to go ahead and DQ this guy. Nelson is bad. And again, ruining a lot of people's opportunities to make top eight. Ness Hero? Uh, Ness yeah, Hero? Ness Hero. It's his pool one. Yo, so Fallen Sweat ruining a lot of people's opportunities here, man. For real. Because uh, unfortunately, this player had a really good run. <laughs> Believe it or not. Actually, no, he... He had a really good run in the lower side. Okay, so his first opponent was a DQ in winners. And then in losers, unfortunately, he took out Pookie and he took out Rebel. And his other opponent was... Uh, so the only person... I think Fallen Sweat's worst opponent is a shower, if we're being honest. No, the dude's a Shut bum, up. for real. Yo, Fallen like, Sweat, I really hope you're listening to this, bro. You are a bum. I'm telling you right now, bro. Like for this real? guy's worst yeah, opponent is the song. scent that comes from You're his chair when bum, he sits bro. up. Like, <laughs> this guy's even like, even look, even Tower Temptress is pissed. That's Tower just so lame. Tower man. Temptress That's is pissed, so lame. bro. That's just so like how bad you gotta be at the game to be entering a tournament on three separate accounts, bro. Yeah, that. That's three accounts we banned in this tournament series. The dude is like a... He's well, like a... What pisses like a, me we off need, is... We need pest control. It's going to be so hard to regulate something like this because what's going to stop him from making another account? Like, this dude, I'm telling you, his worst enemy is a shower. Well, that's the thing. Like, you know, th this is honestly like proof in the pudding, man. And wow. this is the type... This is the type of stuff, Caboose, that really doesn't allow online tournaments to have any sort of integrity or, you know... It's just like, what? what is this, bro? Like, the it's hard. We're always fighting an uphill battle. Like, bro, and like, can, is there a way we can... I, I'm going to reach out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reach out to start.gg. I'm going to tell him the situation we've been running into with this stupid bum. And, see and if they can I'm going to see out, if there's yeah. a way we can get, like, an IP ban on this freaking guy because there's no doubt in my mind he's going to make another account and try to do this again. Yo, for real, fall in sweat. Have some, have some dignity, bro. For real, please. Like, I'm not even coming at you as a person. I'm just coming at you, like, like for your morals, bro. It's not cool what you're doing. This is complete bum activity. If I could curse on this stream, I would violate you so hard right now, bro. As a oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna remember to cut this part off the stream. Fall in sweat. Hopefully, we get rid of this freaking cockroach for good. All right. Well, we got a, uh, we got pool three, ready to go. The, the winners finals match between can't stop the train and Shuleta. Shuleta sticking with the Raiden. Can't stop the train with the uh, with the Sub-Zero? With the, the double sub? This should be interesting, Destroyer. Let's see how this goes. go good start for both these competitors so far destroyer the titan sub-zero that skin is so sick oh and here's the punish the sub-zero cameo helping out sub every time i see a sub-zero i'm always excited because this is a character that a lot of people consider to be lower tier and i just like people popping off with a character that you don't see as often. The storm cell. Oh, into the fatal blow. Shuleta's gonna steal this first round. And yo, not for nothing, bro, like, I hate to say it, but, like, if, if you're literally playing on a brand new account, like, I just don't buy it. You're, like, yes, there are young prodigies that show up in these tournaments that go crazy, but it's like, come on, 
Nah, okay, but ask yourself this: How many people is how many people that young going at this one, man? Like, all this stuff doesn't add up together. You know? The ice armor. Can't stop the train. Trying to tie up these rounds here with the Titan Sub-Zero. We get clipped by the Kino Cameo off screen. That is what's so tricky about doing the Thunderfly in the air and then calling in your cameo at the right time is that you actually don't notice the cameo because it's off screen. And there it was again, actually, Destroyer. Chuleta with the trickiness here. Can't stop the train. Hasn't been able to get anything going, but just as I say that, finds an opportunity to punish. He's going to be able to get a ton of damage out. Drops the combo. Oh, no. This is really bad. No fatal blow, though, for Chuleta. Means really good news for Can't Stop the Train to close out the round, and indeed he will. I got to give credit, though, uh, to these players that, that are helping us out find these frauds. Seriously. Good back two. He's gonna hit him with the slide, puts him in the corner. Wow, and there it is, knocking him out of the park. Can't stop the train, showing us that Raiden ain't nothing. Wow, wow, Wubsy Destroyer. Wow, wow, Wubsy. You said wow, wow, Wubsy? I did. You want me to say it again? Say it again, man. Can't stop the train about to put Chuleta on a body bag. This two sub zero is dangerous, bro. The diversity we've had in this match tonight, listen, for all we know, we could have had at least 30 of the players in this tournament fall in sweat. But we've seen a lot of a lot of hype characters and a lot of craziness. I don't know if I after today if I ever want to do a patch again. Bro, hey, if I find that one more time another player's fall in sweat, <laughs> I'm gonna go hire a private investigator to get me his address. <laughs> And I'm pulling up, bro. I'm calling the FBI. <laughs> I'm gonna hire a private investigator to get the dude's address. I'm pulling up to his crib. And you know who is it gonna be? Bouncy Falcon? It's gonna be a Jub of the Hut human. Oh, no. It's gonna be a Jub. Yo, remember, yo, remember the giant, um, the giant vampire creature from Blade, the the tech vampire? Yeah. yeah. And Blade pulled up and started burning him, and he was like. I bet that's what he looks like. That's gotta be falling sweat. Oh man, Shuleta though making a huge comeback here. All, the all down that I'm wondering though, Destroyer, is the, the ecosystem that's been built from the dirt underneath Fallen Sweat's fingernails. It, it, we need to study that and send it into a lab. I mean, get him cloned and see if we could uh alter some of his, uh, his, his blood cells to make it a normal human. All right, really good forward three, four here. Gonna get a fat pickup. The down nice one wake up from can't stop the train. If there's one thing that uh, Sub-Zero's got going for him, it's definitely not that new MK3 cosmetic they brought out. Yeah, I was gonna, I was just about to ask you about that again, yeah. You know what sucks though? All the other UMK3 skins look so sick, man. Like, Scorpions look good. Uh, smoke looks amazing. Reptiles, bro, looks so, so good. I don't know what it is about Sub Zero that it just doesn't look right. You know what it was? He looked too young. So, what made that Maybe. what made that skin dope? It was he like. Was so young. No, it was, it was like an older Sub Zero, right? And he, and he had a so giant young. jaw. This Sub Zero, it, it looked like Raiden was cosplaying Sub Zero in the costume I saw in the shop today. It looked like a Raiden cosplay of Sub-Zero, I don't know why.
He look, he just looked too young with his IK3 skin. And also what I think it was was his, his tights were just a little too tight. And top the train destroyer. Getting a huge 35% combo. Looks for the neutral jump into the throw. It's gonna be tech, but he's gonna get that slide. And what's really good about the slide is when Shuleta is trying to do that funny business with the off-screen cameo, it actually yo, 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 under yo, the yo, phone yo, 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 yo. Whatever. Uh, Taro Temptress did, did some FBI work, found a post in 2022. Somebody goes, who the F is Nelson is bad? Another reply goes, you ran into his butt too? God damn, he's sweaty. And then somebody goes, heard a few people say it's fallen sweat on another account. From 2022. Damn, that's two years ago. Bro, these hot in the act, these bro. These people don't realize we got FBI's working for COTR. That's Why hire a private investigator when you got Taro CoTR, bro? Why hire a private investigator when you got Taro Yo, and the man's try to argue with us in the court. He trying to say how how do you know I'm following bro. threat? Everything I man. said about that dude times ten to his mother. Nah, imagine. Let me stop. <laughs> No, no, no. His mom is clear. His mom is clear. What up? No, no, no. Okay, I'm not going to violate the family. I apologize. Good Lord. What I'm not going to violate the family. I apologize. I'm not going to violate the family. Ah, oh, man. That is... That, what a what a freaking loser, man. Anyway. Yo. Just, as you saying know that he's watching the Leta stream right now a with a dingleberry hanging out of his butt. One Twitter search. That's nah, there is there is no one. doubt. There is no doubt that when this guy gets up from out of his chair, the stench that follows him would knock you out. <laughs> there is no doubt. You know, I heard he goes 1v1 against an entire smash room at an offline event. <laughs> he goes 1v1 with the smell against an entire room of smash players. Counting off those who will defeat you. What's the score? Man, it's one to one. It's one to one. Oh, and wet part in the chat. I'm tight, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm tight, bro. What is this week? For the last week, too, man, that's so incredibly disappointing. There's the overhead. Chuleta right now. He's been dominating in the corner here, Destroyer. Okay, the cross up into the throw. Can't stop the train. Make that comeback of a lifetime. But he mistimes that jump and gets caught by the Kano ball. Legit question, how many PSN accounts can you have until they start making you pay another uh, PSN subscription? <laughs> Good question. All right, back to the match. We apologize for all this nonsense. I mean, I could think it is pretty entertaining for you guys, though. Good down poke. All right, they're going to trade. Tries to go for the jump and beautiful stuff. Can't stop the train. Freezing him with the... Wow, ice clone. Wow, I saw. Yo, it, are we not going to talk about this incredible Sub-Zero player can't stop the train? The dude's been cooking with Sub-Zero since the dawn of the dinosaurs. I think since MKX. This dude's a straight legend in these streets. And I love how there's a lot of players that aren't really in like the, 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 the higher line of being well-known. But can't stop the train. I know this dude very well. Definitely a legend in these streets. Really good patience here. Tries to go for the double low. Blocks a forward 4-3 from Raiden. Oh no, messes up the flawless block. Or maybe it was intentional just to escape the pressure. Good throw. They should probably put him in a, in a chip out situation. Chuleta, now up 2-1 to one destroyer. It's going to be two games to one here. Can't stop the train. Definitely not out of it just yet. Let's see if he can bounce back. Crazy week this, uh, crazy week this week. No, this crazy dramatic week this week. They're going to, they're going to make a Netflix documentary about <laughs> multiple accounts. I mean, COTR d deserves one at this point, right? With all the crazy stuff we've been through throughout all the weeks, uh, COTR one and two combined. You'd make a really good documentary. 
But now, let's at least see. If, at least if you're gonna make a Heidi, like, let it be that you enter your tournament on that one Heidi. So Ninja Killer has Heidi, but Ninja Killer doesn't enter multi, like, doesn't enter tournaments on all of his Heidi's at once, bro. I mean, it, look, Caboose, sorry for straying away from this match so much, but, I mean, community, take that as a lesson learned rough right there, you know? You, you don't want to be that guy to get caught playing in multiple Heidi's because it's embarrassing. Not only is it embarrassing, but the dude is basically blacklisted from all online tournaments now. Because I'm going to make sure I make a public announcement. I saw yeah, we, on, on, on that account that he's been on, Caboose, unfortunately, he's been competing in the Coliseum as well. So I'm going to make sure yep. I bring that attention to all the tournament organizers. And, you know, you, you just don't want to be that guy to get caught in that scenario because it's embarrassing. It makes you look stupid. And you're going to have Caboose and Destroyer calling you a bum for the rest of your life. You really want that? Can't stop the train looking to tie this up two to two. While I phone. Oh, nice jump in there from Shuleta. Again, destroy Shuleta promised he would make everybody at Tres Leches Cake if he made the top eight this week. And if you ask me, that's a lot of Tres Leches Cake. Oh, and look at this combo incoming. Okay, the force breaker from Shuleta. Wallace blocked that cop at the end of it. Wallace blocked the projectile. Oh no, and there's the Kano cameo on the other side of the screen. WallaceBlock.com. He's gonna activate WoW Ice Clone. Wow Ice Clone. Armor. Now, how do you feel? Oh, actually, wait, never mind. I was just about to say, is the Ice Armor really worth it for a matchup like this? And yes, being able to avoid all of Raiden Kano's dirty uh, shenanigans is huge. Goes for the low stagger. I don't know what That's he was around. waiting for there. And just like that, Shuleta gonna be taking it. Match point. Train playing out of his mind here, Caboose. He's got him in the corner. Goes with the jump back. Goes with the forward, 4-3. Four, He's getting the chip out sequence. The overhead's gonna connect. Can't stop the train. Needs to get out of this vortex right now because this is getting bad. Guys, go with the sweep. Oh, we already banned him from the cord. Oh, did you? Yeah. I mean, you want to bring him back to check that out. All right, or DM him. DM him that. I would have loved to have DM him, him, him that, bro. I would have loved to have seen his response to that. That's what I told Carol Tempest. And she said, get him that F.I. <laughs> <laughs> Good throw. Let's get him Trying to close this out, Destroyer. I'm so nervous. Nelson. Oh, sorry, uh, Nelson. Can't stop the train with the ice ah, on He called him Nelson. Okay, can't stop the train. Could be a fallen sweat. Heidi, too. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely not. <laughs> Ten seconds left on the clock. Oh, the anti-air. Bro. Oh, my God. No. And there it is again. We're going to game five. There it is. Nelson is bad. Taking it two games to two. Really putting a beating on Chuleta. Chuleta with a little bit of arroz. Y, uh, what is it? Arroz y gandules? I think I'm saying it wrong. It's not arroz y gandules, is it? Yo, call me gandules from now on. Llamame arroz y gandules, please. All right, then forget about you. Don't call Here me that then. Go. Don't call me that Game then. Five now, Destroyer underway. This is it. Who is going to make it now into our top eight for the winner's side to join? Well, it's an hourglass of rain and red nose. No, seriously, chat. Exclamation point bracket. Look at this crazy bracket. I mean, the top eight that we're shaping up for this Friday happening on Caboose's Twitch channel. It's a wild one. Also, I want to mention, please um, consider checking out the sponsor of our tournament, Odin Sama, exclamation point, Odin. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel like I couldn't shop them out at all today, dealing with all the uh, bracket stuff. But exclamation point, Odin in the chat. Check out their merch, luxury clothing brand, supporting Chamber of the Realms. 
and we want to support them so definitely check it out and consider purchasing some merch it goes straight to the uh vex melt the leche foundation and it supports uh the cows that i produce <laughs> i'm trolling by the way you're crazy i'm crazy right He activates the ice armor that's oh, not gonna stop the cannonball. That back two is gonna lead to some fat damage. Goes off of the breaker. No meter for Chuleta, Chuleta. With a little bit of Gandules. Left. 30 seconds left, can't stop the train. He definitely needs a Fatal Blow combo. That's kind of the only thing right now. Or just an opening of any kind. He needs it very soon, Destroyer. Otherwise, he's gonna lose this round due to the timer. Can't stop the train, trying to get in. It's poked low and caught by the storm cell projectiles from full screen. The Kano ball. And that'll be the round off the timeout. Yeah, can't stop the train. It's pretty much conceded. There we go. Match point okay, now for okay. Chuleta. He's getting the dress letters cake recipe ready to go. Yo, here's something um, to run by you, Caboose. I don't know if you've read the patch notes entirely, but remember when you would do a fatal blow just as the timer was ticking down? It actually freezed the timer yeah, for like an extra timer. three seconds. You remember yeah. that? They removed yeah. that. So once the fatal blow is completed now, the timer is going to resume right as it was. That's right. No delay. And I feel like that can play a huge factor in matches like this because we've seen it take effect in other matches before. Extremely important. Those little extra added seconds that you get after a fatal blow sometimes are the make or break. Can't stop the train with a healthy life so lead. Just as I mentioned that, he's going to catch our crazy storm cell conversion. Oh no. Overhead. Kim Chi Quella was actually telling me the other day that's one of the main reasons Raiden is so busted with Storm Cell Kano. It's because he has so much time to decide what he wants to do in that animation of Storm Cell. If he sees it confirms, he can get a full combo with Kano Knives. If he sees it's blocked, he can make it safe with a Kano Ball. And uh, that was the worst from, from Young, young Lag Switch. Young Lag Switch Yellow, oh my goodness, Destroyer can't stop the train in a really tough spot now with 13 seconds left on the clock he needs to find a way in he needs to find an opening get the down shoot that's actually pretty huge that is pretty huge no he gets caught by the kino ball no and that's it shuleta when in doubt lame it out shuleta will be moving on to the top eight with the raiden and the storm cell Nice! I think that leaves us with one more match for tonight, right? That's correct. One last match here for tonight, Destroyer, to round out the winner's side of the top eight for Champions of the Realms. Talk to me. Who do we got? Online Kale and VLE6. Now, I'll get Kale. I don't know um, the PSN for six, so if you can send him the invite, we'll get those guys ready to go here in just a second. We'll try and get that match going very quickly for you guys. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about any more delays from here on out no seriously bro um all right let's get this next match going before we get an influx of fallen sweats in this tournament uh so you said we need um six is psn let me see if i can grab that real quick it's yeah like just v uh we just need VLE. six and then we'll be good i think it's straight up just vle underscore six or something right yo six if you are around if you could please drop your psn for us Let me add him real quick. Oops. Yeah, you better say oops. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Man, this was a wild week. I mean, even though it had its up, ups and downs, I do want to say this was one of the one of the crazier um, weeks for pools for sure. Um, the character diversity was incredible. I have to oh, okay. say, I think I got him. I invited him too. I think I invited him too. I want to say the character diversity tonight was incredible. We had Quan Chi's. We had Peacemakers pulling up. Sub Zero yes. pulled up. Uh, yo, yep. we, we might have seen the whole roster tonight, bro. I'm not even trolling. At some point, we Shang Tsung was here tonight. That's right. Slayer won earlier with the Shang Tsung. Pretty convincing. Crazy man. week. It was wild. It was wild. But all right. This is it now. Our final match for the night. Smoke player. Who remembers Just Nasty? Where's Just Nasty been? What's he been up to? I think he's playing Tekken now, bro. It's unfortunate oh. because, you know, the, the state of MK say about 
you say about a couple weeks ago, Please. just let them play. I don't even care about flesh bits right now, bro. Just get us out of this week. But, um, you know, just nasty. I feel like he, he started devoting a lot of time to Tekken and maybe put MK on the back burner. And a lot of players ended up doing that, man. You know, no T, no shade, but MK was looking real grim. And I don't really, I don't really blame some of the players who ended up leaving MK1, but, you know, I, like I said, man, I'm gonna die on this hill. I really do feel like this game is gonna age like fine wine. NRS just has to get their, their, their stuff together and get all the nicks and knacks kind of fixed up here. But, bro, it's really like a more complete game day, you know, the, the, the more the time goes on. Now we have the should mini game. A, should there have been a situation of this, like, all these features and everything been in the game day one? Like, should there have been a situation of the game maybe getting delayed? Like, totally, right? Yeah. Um, but, hey, it, like, the game came out the way that it was. I still think it plays really well. It's one of the more fun Mortal Kombat games that we've gotten since MKX, of course. It's much better in terms of gameplay than MK11. Um, the visuals are amazing. The story is super fun. Like, there's a lot of things it has going for it. It just definitely it didn't come out feeling very complete. Um, but they're getting there, and I totally agree with you that this is going to be a game that needs to find why This is going to be a game that down the line is it's going to be among the best fighting games. And uh, it sucks that we have to like get there. You wish that we would get there day one, but better late than never, right? All right, and we just got an update. Tweety making it into the loser side top oh. eight, taking it 3-1 over Joystick. Hopefully we get to see He's more in. Peacemaker on Friday. He'll have more time to kind of hone that that skill. Oh my goodness, and Six popping off with a huge combo to close that game out there, taking game one against Online Kale. <laughs> I know you said we're just nasty, but <laughs> this might be the Heidi. <laughs> we, we, yeah. <laughs> It's fallen sweat. <laughs> but it's okay, because you didn't sign up with three different accounts. Well, exactly. That's all we were saying. We weren't saying that Heidi's are banned. It's just, don't be don't be signing up with your main account and your Heidi on the same night. Okay, I said Flesh Pits once, but twice? In the <laughs> <you're mistaken>. Yo! <laughs> Yo! No, 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 no. What are you, a bunch of stupid idiots? No, that's crazy. Bro, what is good with these players tonight, man? They're finding it every way they can to raise your blood pressure. Oh my god. When this video gets slapped with the age restriction, I'm, I'm, I'm showing up to their crib. Nah, it's because of the rant you went on. <laughs> that's not. That's gonna be. That's not gonna be in the main video. <laughs> that rant was not gonna be in the main video, bro. Uh, you gotta put it in there now. Oh, nice off block. Trying to punish and he actually gets shut down by the striker cameo. Six stuck in this corner here. Gets top of the forward three. Online Kale, cashing out for 27% on that. For the back one. Block the low, didn't block the overhead. Now six is starting to get something going here. Gets the invis. And you know how dangerous this character gets when the invis is active. Don't Super even get dangerous. me started get on started. how much stronger he is with get the started. Started. Tell me about it. I want you to tell me how stupid he is when he's invisible. He's really stupid. When he's invisible, he's a big stupid idiot. Jeez. There's like, there's like a ton of cameo coming in to help him close out the round. He needs that UMK3 skin, man. Yeah, well, if they make him anything like the new ones that just came out. Wait, wait. The Sub-Zero one's not great, but the ones for everyone else are really nice. You like them? You don't? I like them. The only thing that was a little off to me was like the, the, the hood piece. The hood piece, it looked like they put cats under the suits or something. Isn't that, that how it looks like? how it is? So, I don't think so. I, I think the the hoods for the classic skins were just regular hoods. They didn't really have that like kind of oh, square. You know what it is actually? What? That's um, isn't that that MK4? Is that how they look in MK4? If that's how they look at the, the yo, you're actually right. Yeah. That's how it was yeah. in MK4, but they can't advertise as, as MK3 if they're going to be doing the MK4s. That's true. I don't know why they advertise as the MK3 skin. That, that is definitely the MK4 type of. 
There it is. Online kill gonna be tying us up one to one. Let's get it popping. MK4 is when they first started dipping into the 3D era, right? That's right. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was, that was that's the one where you got the um, no. bro. That's the one where the, Tanya. The that's the one where Tanya said. <laughs> that's where you got the infamous going somewhere, Jarek. The Jax. I do like it though. I don't know. You, you, you're not a fan. I think it looks clean. What the? Whoop? Okay. Yeah, only Sub Zero skin is the actual MK3 one, which is weird, but it's all right. All right, so why don't you buy all the skins then? We're gonna do that just for you. Really good smoke pressure here. Online kill goes with the back three, but the throw is gonna interrupt. The breaker. Yo, I heard a lot of people saying recently Quan Chi has different palettes in Invasion. Does that mean DLC Ooh, cosmetics? Does that mean DLC cosmetics is a, is a thing that we can actually look forward to? Can you unlock the Quan Chi Invasion skins? Is the real at question. least for the MK characters, you know, like. Oh, beautiful stuff there from Kale Destroyer. Trying to hold on to this corner now. Look for the back three. Wow, if DLC has different palettes and invasions, I legit might have to play invasions. They're finding any way to get us to play their friggin' game mode. <laughs> Did he have put the DLC cosmetics oh, and invasions? They'll have to play. the end of the round here if Six converts. Wait, it's not it. Hold on. Kale has a chance here. Oh no, he lands the throw. 13 seconds left on the clock destroyer and he's got the corner. Kale could land this. Oh, but he gets poked out, unfortunately. The throw now. Kale bouncing back immediately. Oh my goodness. It's one throw after another after another. That's almost 44% of your health just gone. Good blocks. Tries to go for the throw, but the jump back from VLE. Just nasty hiding account. I'm kidding. <laughs> Watch the overhead. Up blocks the teleport. Beautiful stuff from Tail. Didn't have the music in the combo, but still able to connect that back three, and this should spell the end of the round. Indeed, it will. My goodness. Uh, we have the scores right, right? They're tied 1-1. One, one. That's right. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Nasty combo conversion here with the standing 3-4s. Really cashing oh, out on no. so Oh, wait, no. That was a reset. Holy cow. This man just lost half his eight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Into the overhead. Up. Kale has to hit the breaker. I mean, that's typically what Smoke does in this game, right? Oh. He goes invisible and he just mixes you. Oh, the back three connects again. This is actually pretty huge for Kale right now. Only a true master, Caboose. Only a true master, Caboose. He's trying to open him up with he that back that three. Back Good back blocks. Three. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. He was looking for the oh. block there. The he back three back three. This is gonna be it's fatal. fatal. No. Oh my god. I don't, it, does this kill? It, it might. I think it does. I think it does. It doesn't really look like it's scaling here. This last bit of HP is going to determine all the fates. Oh, wait. Oh, and there it is. That last toss on the ground doing that extra bit of damage was able to secure Kale the game. Stealing it with a crazy comeback here with Baraka. Don't forget too, bro. Even if he lived that little bit of HP, my boy would have had him in like a, <laughs> not even a pixel because of the bleed. And I don't know and if the online bleed. Tony in the chat He's cheering up his son. <laughs> you love to see it. Does anybody know if the Baraka's Fatal Blow bleed? Can it end a round? It shouldn't. I, it ne never do damage over time being able to kill you. <laughs> Forget alien. I lost my family too. Wait, did he? Alien would. 
not only kill you with damage over time, <laughs> but he erased oh, your that own an life MKX with thing? it. Was that an MKX thing? That was an alien thing. But then I think they nerfed it. I forgot. Because I remember, I remember in MK11 there was a lot of characters that have like damage over time moves, like Baraka actually. But you're like the damage over time would never close out around the kill. What? Somebody said I can't ever root for Baraka in this game. Baraka is one of the dopest characters in Mortal yeah, Kombat crazy. One. What? Then I'm happy um, Baraka ended up being one of the one of the stronger characters. It took Tekken Master at um, what was that tournament in Paris to really open people's eyes. Yes. But ever since that man, Baraka has been really, really well rounded in this game. Top tier yeah, for sure. Good. Oh, six is going to be able to get a couple of resets in here. Goes for the fatal blow, and that's going to connect. All right, VLE six. Kind of smart to do so, considering that he recognized it was about to have that third bar of meter for the breaker. Bro, they're hitting every single <laughs> mini game. Okay, I think online kill missed one, or it got blocked by that giant. Oh, fist. the breaker from Kale. No. Another true master moment. Oh. oh. He... What? Oh that my one god. Is crazy. <laughs> Kale is surviving. He is staying alive as long as he can in these matches, Destroyer. And Six kind of took a big chance there going for that down one. That's plus frames. Tries to delay the back three. He's looking for the shimmy. VLE Six, though. Not falling for it. Goes for the mix. Keeps the Kano knives to not let him get crazy punished. Nice throw. Too slow. Going for just a raw back three, or back three one, I think it is, without having the striker came to save him in case online, or say in case um, six with a duck low. Oh, breaker. And I feel like no better way to end this stream than going to a game five for the final match. Could it be? I think we are. He's going for the and pressure, yes, and indeed. there it is. The I, I had to hold my breath. I did not want to commentators curse it, man. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Sometimes you do got to watch out because the commentators could, in fact, be the death of the player. That's right. Okay. We are going to a final game five for the Night Destroyer. And again, this is going to be for a spot in the winner's side of our top eight and for our last top eight before the finale. That's hype. The last chance for these guys to make it in. A good spot to be in that's hype man i'm excited caboose listen i want to say it's been a long journey and i wouldn't change it any other way man champions of the realm I, I would change a couple things like falling all right maybe that, maybe that maybe <laughs> that but honestly bro it has been a blast I and i hate to announce everybody but this is the last now imagine right. it. <laughs> that's it we're never making another champions of the realm Final game for Pofa. Yo, I'm not even looking at the match. All I hear is Baraka Blades going crazy. Kill. A really impressive start to this final game, Destroyer. But if there's one thing Smoke can do, it's erase your health bar in the blink of an eye. And I'm saying that, though. Kale can close out the round. And it is now one round away from the top eight. Very nice, very nice. Hold on, kill. Keeping all the composure on lockdown. Okay, he gets the Baraka Barrage. Oh, six channeling is in there, just nasty. Oh, one at the low, but the interruption. Online kill set himself up for a big win here. He's gonna get six off of the breaker. He almost has a full stick up under now, babe. What a conversion! Holy cow! Uh oh. No win, Viz. Canceling these cancels. I know these Kano knife cancel pressure right now from six is immaculate. Wait a second. Online kill. Tries to stuff him like a pig. Oh, the breaker from Kale. He knew that that invis pressure was about to get dangerous. <gasps> Kale trying to secure this game, Destroyer. But Six does have the Fatal Blow ready to go. And Smoke can dish out ridiculous amounts of damage, even with just one bar. He's going to spend it to go oh! invis with the side. 
This might be chip out. And there it is. Online Kale will be moving on to our top eight destroyer. Just recently, I saw on Twitter online killed um, one uh, tournament there, and the, the the kid's looking hot, man. We just got word that online Tony, the father to online Kale, just told him he did not have to do his homework for the night. Now that he has made the top eight, oh, wonderful stuff God. there, <laughs> online Kale, who makes it in destroyer on the winner's side, and it is now going to be his final chance coming up on Friday to make it into our top eight finale. I mean, yeah, look at this replay, the final moments. I love how online Kale was just checking him nonstop with the projectiles, not really letting VLE6 advance with that smoke pressure. And then, you know, the kid waited for the perfect opportunity, hit him with a tried and true down one yep. Baraka Barrage, and that's going to close it out. GG's to online Kale being the last one into the top eight. But like yeah, I was so saying, Caboose, the dude is hot off of a tournament win. He won yep. an entire tournament. I don't know when, but it was maybe like a week ago that I saw that announcement on Twitter. And now Definitely the kid is another. getting into top eight winner's side for the final qualifier of Champions yep. of the yep. Realms. Now, there's a lot of competition already here into our top oh eight. My with God. that win, Online Kale will be facing off against Our Glass of Rain on the winner's side of the top eight for Friday. And then we also got a match between Almighty Red Nose and Shuleta Sheesh. on the winner's side of the top eight. So far for the losers, all that we have secured is that Tweety is in there on the loser side for top eight. Again, it goes down this Friday. Twitch.tv slash Caboose, my Twitch channel. You can hit estimation point Caboose in the chat. And I believe from what Destroyer is telling me, we're pushing it an hour because he's got something to attend to. So we'll be going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you guys there, man. This top yeah. eight, it's going to be a bloodbath. I'm definitely going to reach out to uh, a lot of players, uh, all the top eight winners. We'll make once sure we... everybody's okay with yeah, that. We'll, yeah, we'll make sure everybody is, is uh, accommodated with the 7 p.m. time. But real quick, before we end the stream, I just want to give some massive shout-outs, man. This, is the, this was the final qualifier for pool play for season two. I want to see right now in the chat, man. If you guys want us to continue this hype, make some noise in the chat right now. Make Seriously. some noise in the chat right now. I want to see the chat exploding if you guys want us to continue this series. For real. I don't know where everything stands with Mortal Kombat 1. I know there was a lot of seesaw balance going on saying the game is dead. But from what I've been seeing, Caboose, the game is very much still alive, man. There's a lot of players still showing love to it, still competing, still bringing the hype. And I, I want to keep the action going. Like I said, like Caboose said, we do feel like this game is going to age like fine wine a little later down the line. We got Crossplay King of the Hill coming eventually. I'm pretty sure they're going to be working on tons of uh, QOL fixes and just things yeah. all over the place, you know. Who knows? Right. Maybe they'll end up giving us rooms. And until then... We need that, man. We just got to stay optimistic, man. We got we to gotta keep yeah. faith in Mortal Kombat because I know for sure I'm not going to stop being an MK fan. Yeah, NRS messed up a little here and there with this game, but th this 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 is life. MK is life for me, and I'm not even trolling. Like, I've been playing these games since I was a child. I've been hooked on it. The whole nature of MK, the blood and gore, the characters that they introduced to the, to the lore, it, it's incredible, man. The Mortal Kombat IP is top tier for me, and one of my favorite franchises I could be a part of. 100%. And I want to continue to support this game. I hope MK uh, con uh, or NRS continues to better this game. And yeah, I mean, Caboose, I'm pretty sure we got another combat pack after this one to look forward to. You know, they already teased Story gotta DLC. Be. And yeah, from be. the time we are now to, I'd say, a couple months a or a year now. later, who knows what this game's going to be like. 100%. 100%. I mean, even like throughout the year, we, we know I think uh, Homeland is going to be coming to the game in June. We have a really exciting summer ahead of us for Mortal Kombat that I'm sure can get us a, can get us very excited, you know, so it can get us very hyped for the future of this game. And like you said, I'm hoping that we continue to see more quality of life updates, more things added, more features added, and then as well, more communication with the developers. What I've been really happy to see is that some people are asking questions to that Mortal Kombat Twitter and maybe not all the time, but we are sometimes getting responses, specifically in the case of crossplay coming to King of the Hill later down the line. Now, we don't have an exact date. I'm sure they're working on it. They're trying to make sure that everything runs smoothly because the last thing that we would want for them is to rush that kind of update out. But when we see King of the Hill crossplay in this, if it runs smooth, 
If everything's looking good, we still good, have to test regular then, the crossplay they put. Not haven't tested it. Oh well, yes, gotta we, we got to test. We got to test and make sure again. We have to make sure everything runs smoothly. But man, if it does, that's just going to open the floodgates for Champions of the Realms. That's going to make it even more hype. That's going to increase the level of competition that you can see from online tournaments in general, which I'm very excited about and I very much look forward to. But all right, that's well, going to be it for last thing. Cool last thing. Tonight. Last thing. Also, I want to give a massive. <laughs> Caboose froze. Uh, let me see if Did I, I no no it's because uh, I'm gonna try to switch to the Odin Sama scene real quick. Let me see if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think it's this one. <laughs> this one. Okay. Oh, what? It's not this one. Uh... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Beautiful. Yes, Odin no, Sama. Here it is. Here it is. You yes. Guys check out our sponsor. Hit exclamation point Odin in the chat. Look. We should mention every single person that makes it into our finale gets a custom piece of Odin Sama merch. And we also have Champions of the Realms merch with Odin Sama. It looks so sick. You guys got to get your hands on it, man. The design with the Shadow Priest, the minimalistic design too in general is just so clean. This is the kind of merch that you can wear every day and you look good. Yeah, this is my get personal favorite. On it, this is my personal please. favorite design that they made for uh, our series. And again, all proceeds Woo! will be going back into the prize pools, or who knows, maybe you'll be able to buy us a nice McDonald's meal. But this look at this design Odin Sama, Champions oh, of Realms snake. gaming t shirt, black. And like I said, man, support the tournament, purchase yourself some merch, and send us pictures. We'd love to share it on our social media platforms. And like right, I said right. before, all proceeds will be going right back into the tournament. So we really do appreciate all the love and support. And make sure you get a 3XL Brendan uh, Frazier's The Whale Size. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, big shout out to Odin Sama, sponsor of the stream and as well, sponsor for the, for the competitors making it into the finale. I can't wait to see what their custom designs are going to look like whenever they get their hands on it. But yo, Destroyer. The final top eight before our finale goes down this Friday night at 7 p.m. That's on my Twitch channel. You can hit exclamation point caboose in the chat to get the link. Make sure you're following. Make sure you got the notifications on it. Make Last sure you update, are Han ready Rashid to won go over can't stop the train, by the way. What's that? Uh, Han Rashid made it into the, to the top eight, by the way. Oh, Han Rashid now in the loser side of the top eight. My goodness, this top eight is going to be insane. I can't wait. I can't wait. But all right, we'll see you guys on Friday. You stay safe out there. I've been Caboose. That's my boy, Destroyer. Peace out. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Slap that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day. So come and say hi.